ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. I am Police Major Maguila Salvacion as the Chief PSMU as well as uh, Chief PRMS of RNDU and CRPO. Um, it, has, it is our privilege to, to um, present to you the third quarter strategy review. So, before we start, sir, ma'am, uh, we would like to first uh, ask po for your indulgence para po meron po tayong guidance from the higher above. Um, ano lang po natin, uh, uh, mag-prayer lang po muna tayo. But we are going to use po yung pong PNP prayer na lang po ng ating Philippine National Police. You want your video Para lang po meron po tayong right? guidance from Not our higher above. Okay. Oh, let me share my screen. Yeah. Let us all and ask for God's guidance and blessings. Almighty God, the most merciful creator of heaven and earth, we beseech Thee, O Lord, to protect us from harm in the performance of our duty. Give us courage and commitment to do our job well and dedication to make our community safe. Teach us to ignore those who scorn and show us no respect but be mindful of those we've sworn to protect. We ask Thee to enlighten our minds so we can discern and execute the best for the PNP organization. Grant us wisdom and strength to do all our tasks in making our organization become more credible and most trusted by the public. May we always have the heart to put duty first in every work that we must do. And may we not disgrace the uniform, but bring pride to the badge we wear. All for your glory and honor. Amen. Let us all pray and ask for... Yeah, thank you, Paul. Um, let me now share my screen again. Uh, for the presentation. <clears throat> Eric, nakita ba? Kita ba yung ano, presentation? <clears throat> so, sir, ma'am, uh, this is the third quarter strategy review for calendar year 2021. To our chief, ma'am, um, Although nakalagay po dito third quarter siya, um, this is the first quarter, ah, sorry, this is the first strategy review for quite some time. Um, not sure po, sir, ay ma'am kung last year nagkaroon sila ng strategy review, um, also previous years. But based on records po na meron po ako, but again, I might be wrong, baka hindi ko lang po nakita yung record. Uh, the strategy review po last na na, na, na na meron po ako is last 2018. So, not sure po what happened um, from 2018 to this year. Hindi ba uh, nag-require ang ano, ACE? Hindi nag-require ang HS? Not sure, ma'am. Nandito naman po, ma'am, yung ating HS po. Monthly um, submission? A quarterly submission? Dapat, ma'am, meron. Pero um, based on records lang ma'am na meron po akong pinangahawakan. Again ma'am, baka po ito ay na lost in space o hindi lang po nakit ng record ng maayos. For now ma'am, yun lang po yung meron. Okay, sige. Thank you. Thank you ma'am. So the scope of my presentation is as shown. Uh, supposed to be ma'am, prayer po sana ni chairperson. Pero dahil wala po siya, uh, tuloy naman po tayo. Uh, special guest po natin is from uh, Police Strategy Management Unit from Health Service and we also invited someone uh, naman po to represent po yung R9 if this is the PSMU equivalent po sa NCRPO naman po. Uh, we did invite these two. Uh, first of all, because mother unit po natin sa health service but at the same time, unique po tayo sa RMDU and CRPO because uh, may, ang customer po natin comes from NCRPO. So, minabuti po namin na in-invite din po ang R9 since nasa kanila din po ang strategic management ng buong NCRPO. So, baka po may ma-offer po silang insights para po ma-improve po 
ng RMB and CRPO ang ating sparkan. So let me just start with the police quote of the day. Uh, although it's noong 12.721 pa po ito, uh, yung pong sinasabi dito ni W. Edwards Demings is that without data, you're just another person with an opinion. So um, inabuti po namin to, to gather information, at only information, data, as well as all the necessary things that um, we should be presenting during quarterly review, operations review, and tactical review. Another po, if you play, fail to plan, you are planning to fail. Ito po yung galing po kay Benjamin Franklin. So without the strategic management and planning, uh, for sure, uh, we, are, uh, we are planning to fail. So let me just go back in time. What have we done so far sa PSMU? First, the efforts in institutionalizing PGS activities. Second po, establish po yung policies and guidelines. And then third po, deliberate po natin yung mga advisory council key contribution. So in the efforts in institutionalizing PGS activities, uh, we had uh, six the six operations review December 3, 2021. Meron din po tayo the fifth technical working group meeting November 17. And then yung pong, sorry po, uh, six na po ito, RAG PTD nangyari po nung December 7. Please be informed po ma'am uh, and to the participants here that uh, yung pong ating TWG kasama na po ngayon ito. Um, so during quarterly review. Inisa na lang po namin for now para kasi sa sobrang dami activities uh, this December. Uh, ma'am, for info po ma'am, ito po yung ginawa po namin uh, resolution 2021-001. Um, one of the things that we noticed, uh, especially po when I took over as the GPSMU last July, uh, there were several dysfunctions that we noticed and one of which is nawala po yung cadence. Ang tawag po dito sa balance scorecard is cadence. When we say cadence, parang nagmamarcha ba? Na kailangan meron po regular beat para po maging sabay-sabay po tayo na lumakad patungo po kung saan tayo pupunta o yung, kung saan po yung vision natin. So one of the, the best practices po that I learned along the way for several years po doing this PNP Patrol Plan 2030 is to establish a regular cadence. So in this case po, sir, ma'am, um, what we did was plinat po natin yung pong, ano po yung required ng CPSM, ano po yung required ng PSMU. So one of the things that we should be doing is a quarterly review. And we call it sa PNP as a strategy review. So sa balance scorecard po sa ibang bansa and other organizations, um, they do regular uh, regular meetings. The meeting is for the purpose of um, consolidating yung pong mga data and then looking at the scorecard, looking at results, and then looking forward, uh, sorry, before looking forward, um, assessing po what is the environment, ano po ba yung nangyayari ngayon, for example, po noong 2020 and 2021, uh, we already have the pandemic. Um, 2019 po, wala po nakapag-isip nun. Wala pong, na, wala pong scorecard sa buong Pilipinas ang nakalagay magkaka-COVID-19 po sa 2020. So ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin po, it is very important every time na meron po tayong mga strategy review, quarterly review, is to be able to do an environmental scanning. Environmental scanning means that um, tingnan po natin yung kapaligiran natin, what are the things that are happening, what is the situation, situational awareness ang tawag natin sa PNP. In order for us to not really align but rather tama pa po ba yung strategy natin. So the strategy here should change depending on the environment. So yun po yung isa sa mga bagay po na basic po dun sa balance scorecard that um, madalas po pitfall po ng PSMUs. So one of, one of the things that I noticed po, hindi lang po dito, no, as an auditor po ng PNP, uh, both in PNP Patrol Plan and Patrol Plan 2020 as well as ISO certification, the most of, mostly po nang nagkakaroon po ng um, hindi po 
baga parang hindi sila sensitive doon sa environmental factors, uh, sasabihin lang nila, eh kasi ito na yung naabutan namin, eh. ito na yung dati. So, madalas po yung mga units po na ito, lalo po sa may bandang Mindanao no, no, when I was, was first auditing them, um, madalas po ganun po yung sagot nila. Eh sir, kasi ito na yung nabutan namin, ito na po yung nakagisnan. Uh, this is the way things are. And mind you po, ma'am sir, hindi lang po sa PNP ito. Uh, when I took several uh, webinars po uh, with, with Balanced Scorecard Institute, mapapansin po ninyo, ito rin po pala ang findings nila sa ibang bansa. So even the, the most successful organization uh, also falls doon sa pitfall na to. Na akala nila, uh, ah, meron na yan eh, dati na namin ginagawa or ilang several years na namin ginagawa. So madalas po nangyayari yung, yung organization, yung mga tao po natin, uh, comes to that point na ang sasabihin na lang nila, compliance. Without considering po that environmental uh, changes. May, in, min, minsan, di nila alam, meron nang nangyaring ganito and then hindi pa nila kinukonsider ito. So what happens is the measures, the objectives, the targets, the initiatives becomes irrelevant. That is why, ma'am, uh, one of the beauty po ng balance scorecard and as well as ito pong PNP Patrol Plan 2030 is to be able to get outside opinions. So dito po pumapasok yung RAD-PTD or yung Advisory Council, kung tawagin natin Advisory Council ng araw. And it is also important to be able to do stakeholder analysis. Tanungin po natin yung ating mga customers, first and foremost, and then yung pong other stakeholders. So very important po ito so that we should be able to know tama pa ba tayo? I mean, tama ba yung objectives natin? Tama ba yung measures? Uh, are the targets still ire uh, uh, are the targets still reachable? Or baka naman hindi na? And then, are the initiatives uh, contributing towards uh, uh, attaining the target that is set by our measure? So yun po yung dahilan. That is why there is a need for us to be able to to do regular cadence in terms of strategy review every quarter, operations review na monthly po ito. Um, Doon po sa CPSM and uh, yung nire-require lang po yung dalawa, strategy review and operations review. Itong tactical review, ma'am, dinagdag lang po natin, ma'am, as one of our um, emerging best practice. Question, ba't kailangan pa ng weekly? Masyado naman yata ang matrabaho. So, the main difference po ng strategy review, pag mapansin ma'am ninyo, the, the strategy review is chaired by the chief RNDU. And then the operations review is uh, chaired po ma'am ng chief PSMU. Now, how come kailangan may differentiation? Um, it is very important to note ma'am that the chief RNDU, besides po PGS, has a lot, a lot of other activities that she or he attends to. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nun? Hindi lang po PGS yung kanyang ginagawa. So there are a lot of responsibilities so on and so forth. But hindi po natin pwedeng tanggalin yung responsibility ng Chief RNDU towards the PNP Patrol Plan 2030. That is why ma'am, nilesen lang po yung intervals before the Chief RNDU is there. But um, bago po sana uh, makar mar makarating kay Chief RNDU, which is quarterly lang naman po to, meaning four times a year, Sana po, pag nag-present po yung pong PSM youth sa ating chief, eh, somehow meron na, po siya, meron na pong due diligence on the part of PSM youth. That is why, ma'am, um, the operations review is there. So monthly, uh, tinatrabaho po ng PSM youth yan. Um, and then ipipresent po yung results ng three months every time na may quarterly review. Now, by practice po, ma'am, what happened is every month naman po, um, masyadong matagal ma'am yung interval and there are so many things happening in between that hindi po na-address. Wait, there's more. Every time po may operations review lang yung ginagawa po is what happens is yung pong mga maliliit na bagay, dinidiscuss pa po every time na meron po tayong operations review. So what do me, Ace, yes ma'am yes ma'am may we ask the hs psmu what are the things that we need to comply or submit 
pertaining to PGS and how often? HS, PSMU, HS. Ma'am, good afternoon po. Good afternoon, Tin. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, from, from the health service PSMU, uh, all RMDUs were required to submit uh, after activity report of their uh, PSMU, TWG, and advisory council meetings every month. While the strategy operations review from, uh, from RMDUs uh, quarterly, ma'am. Okay, so yan lang. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank so, you, A, don't I mag-focus, A, sa ating requirements muna. Correct, ma'am. Thank you po. Um, yun nga po, ma'am, uh, as presented po, ma'am, dito, we have uh, the RAG-PTD, ma'am, which is also twice a month din po ito. Uh, and then yung technical working group din po, ma'am, meron tayong monthly. No operation, operations review, ma'am, meron tayo every month. Yan. And then yung strategy review. Um, kaya lang ma'am nadagdag ma'am itong tactical review. Um, again ma'am, hindi po ito nire-require. But what happens ma'am, lalo na ma'am nung nag-start ma'am tayo dito, uh, hindi pa ma'am marunong yung tao natin. So uh, minabuti ma'am namin na we made it more regular pa mag-meeting. Not because we wanted to add burden po sa tao, but rather para lang po ma-straighten out. But once na po na reach na yung level of maturity ng ating PSMU, then that's the time ma'am mababawasan po ito. Uh, having said that, hindi naman po ito required lahat mag-meeting. Kung sino lang po yung may concern. So this means, if may concern lang po pagdating sa learning and growth, which is sa admin po ito or training, sila lang po yung mag-meeting. Kung may concern. Kung operational naman po, like community perspective, like yung PCRS natin, then sila lang po yung mag-meeting doesn't need to involve po everybody which is yun nga po na, napapagod po yung tao. Well, daming meetings. Lahat nandun. So, ang nangyayari mo na go-burden ma masyado yung ibang tao. Yung iba, hindi na rin nakikinig. But at the end of the day, ang tanong, what is the result? So, ito po yung naging, um, naging proposed ma'am namin doon and then somehow ma'am, uh, okay naman po siya and we'll show you the results a little bit later. So as shown ma'am in the diagram, pag mapansin ninyo, yung, tactic, uh, yung tactical review ma'am will contribute to the first month operational review. And then the three months will uh, produce po yung pong quarterly review. Uh, on the quarterly review ma'am, pinipresent na rin po yung naging result ng technical working group meetings as well as yung pong RAG PTD meetings natin. So this will now, uh, yung apat po na quarterly review, supposed to be ma'am, meron po siyang annual report. But again, hindi po required po yung annual report. So ma'am, let's look, take a look back ma'am yung performance natin. So numbers have shown, yung advisory council po natin ma'am, uh, we would like to congratulate our RAG-PTD to have achieved yung target po natin na anim, which is nagkaroon po tayo ng anim na actual uh, meetings ng RAG-PTD, which was yung last po nung December 7. As for the technical working group ma'am, uh, nagkaroon lang po tayo ng six meetings out of 12, mainly because nag-start lang po tayo ng July. This is similar din po ng operations review, which is nagsimula lang din po ng July. So ang cadence po natin is monthly. So we have a variance of negative 6. As for the strategy review, ma'am, ngayon pa lang po tayo nagkaroon ng strategy review. So it means, ma'am, uh, meron tayo at least one. Ma'am, i-introduce ko lang po yung working relationship po ng RMDU strategy partners. We should, we should uh, always... Um, no kung sino po yung kalaro po natin dito. So in this case, ma'am, the RMDU strategy partners are divided into three. So nandyan po yung technical working group, nandyan po yung police strategy management unit, and of course, nandyan po yung before ang tawag DRAC or Regional Advisory Council, but, be, but by virtue of NAPOLCOM Resolution Number 2021-0597, naging pangalan na po niya is Regional Advisory Group for police transformation and development. So ang term po ng RAC noon, ngayon rag ptd na. Now, um, so as shown ma'am, is ang center po natin dito, yung strategy partners is 
Ito pong charter statement and scorecard, which is ito po yung tatlong players. And among po the, sa tatlong players, yung strategy partners, kasama po siya doon sa top management. So ang top management po natin, headed by the chief RNDU, works in, in unison with the core process owners or yung frontliners natin with, with direct uh, dealing with the customers and the support process owners or the backliners um, who has indirectly deal with our customers. Ang gitna naman po natin dito is our customers. Of course, yung customer naman po natin, in our case, sa RMDU, NCRPO is the NCRPO personnel, dependents, and authorized civilians. So as shown po, yung sa technical working group ng CAMCRAME, our health service, dito po sa atin, which by the way, ma'am, uh, kung sino po yung bagong deputy, nagiging automatic po na siya po yung susunod na chairman ng technical working group. As shown po is the HS uh, PSMU. And then this, ito po yung ating PSMU sa RMDU. Um, meron na po mga naging changes along the way. So as shown na lang po. As shown. And yung latest po si Lieutenant Melia po naging um, replacement. Asyo naman po is the Health Service Advisory Council headed by Brigadier General Padua. And on the RNDU RAG PTD calendar year 2021-2023, so far ma so, ma meron tayong walo na uh, RAG PTD members. Meron pong isa, pending po siya, hindi na po siya na-approve si Mr. Marvin Jason Rodriguez II. So as shown po, as a summary of the RAG PTD membership, meron po tayong walo. So as shown po, um, meron naman po tayong magandang distribution doon sa mga required po ng membership. So meron po tayong representation from business, academe, LGU, youth, senior citizens, religious, women, NGA, NGO, and media. As per CPSM naman po, allowed po tayong 10, a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 15. So what did we do in terms of cascading activities and resolutions? So nagkandak po tayo ng tactical review, sort of tactical review na siya at the same time training. Training po sa mga bagong PSMU. So we tried our best ma'am to create a video tutorial. We did. Tama lang hindi pa siya sabihin na natin ma'am masyadong mahaba. 30 minutes po yun. But if you want to watch it, nandun lang po sa ating Facebook page. We also have our first OR, second OR as shown, third OR, fourth OR, fifth OR, and then sixth OR. Just to summarize, ma'am, everything, um, kulang pa rin po ma'am tayo ng uh, learning pa po sa ating mga tao. But I am very glad to inform everyone that um, somehow, ma'am, nandun na po yung ating enthusiasm. Uh, I would like to comment, ma'am, yung ating PSMU supervisors in terms of their perspective output which will which they will be presenting later uh ano na po malayo na po yung narating nila uh, compared po nung July when we started to review ma'am uh, the technical working group resolutions meron po tayong um, total of 12 resolutions so as shown ma'am are the resolutions uh, 2021001 to 4 Approve po yan, 5 to 6, 8 to 9, 10 to 13, uh, 10 and 13, and then 12 during the fourth RAG PTD. Um, for, for signature pa rin po yung ating 2021-11, uh, yung po ating stakeholder analysis, hindi pa po ito na-approve. Uh, and then as well as yung 2021-14, uh, yung kay Mr. Marvin Jason. And then po yung... 20, yung 15, which is a memorandum between, ah, correction ma'am. Ito pong 15 ma'am, na-approve na po pala. It, I'm sorry, dito, yung isa. Ah, wala dito. Sorry. Meron po isang na-approve doon, yung latest lang po, yung pong kay, yung MOA signing po with dugong, dugong alay, dugtong buhay, uh, which is a bloodletting organization. Uh, yun na lang po yung ano, yun po yung na-approve. So nakahit naman po tayo ng target natin into 12, 12 resolutions per year. So 12 po yung na-approve and 5 for signature pa. 
As for the advisory council key contribution, this is under the memorandum from TDCO Chairman TWG way back in 2016. This is entitled Advisory Council Key Contribution to the PNP for 2016. So there are six categories of ASIC key contribution, strategic, advocacy, skills enhancement, moral and welfare, capability enhancement, and other contribution. So um, one of the things, ma'am, ang natutunan ko po along the way is to, to have a singular metric across uh, the six categories. The problem of having six categories before was that hindi po singular yung metric system, meaning paano mo siya malalaman kung nagpa-progress ka o hindi. So as a best practice, ma'am, um, what we did was to have an equivalent monetary valuation. It on, ang equivalent monetary valuation only means that uh, we are going to measure each categories according to a monetary valuation. Equivalent means uh, meron lang po siyang kapantay. Ang tanong po kasi dito or yung premise is that magkano po ang babayaran ni RMDU personnel if yung pong services ni, ni RAG PTD or Advisory Council ay babayaran at hindi ito libre. So in this case po, libre po kasing binibigay ni, ni RAG PTD yung kanyang services and ano man yung contribution niya. So kung babayaran po natin sila, then ito po yung paano natin sila natatrack. So in terms of advisory council uh, key contribution number one, which is under strategic, um, what we did was to be able to come up with a consultant consultant fee. No? Um, when I started out, ma'am, ito, nung araw, uh, wala po kasing, um, sabihin na lang natin, wala pong standard sa Pilipinas. In the Philippines, ma'am, it turns out, pag consultant ka, depende. Depende sa rate mo. So what I did, ma'am, was scour the internet and then I found out the, na doon pala ma'am sa United Nations uh, way back in January 2010, meron po palang regular or talagang standard para po sa isang consultant. So lumalabas, ma'am, uh, there are three levels, A, B, and C. Ang pinakamababa, A and C, yung pinakamataas. So what I did was to be able to do it Kung ano po yung pinakabababa. Kasi pag tinignan natin, ma'am, masyado mataas yung $13,000. So at a daily rate, ma'am, uh, at $260, which is way back, ma'am, equivalent pa nito, was 45 pesos per dollar, it equated into 11700 per day. So at 8 hours per day, the rate would be 1462.5. Ang hirap ng mag-calculate. So ang ginawa na lang po natin, ni round off na lang po natin yung consultancy fee para po sa ating RAG PTD for each hour na kanyang ina-attend po sa atin into a 1,500 per hour for consistency and ease in calculation. In fact, ma'am, pag nag-hire tayo ng consultant, hindi po 1,500 na. Acceptance fee pa lang, ma'am, nila is nasa around 50,000, parang attorney. But in this case, ma'am, uh, mababa na po siya, so acceptable naman po yung ganitong klaseng fee. So there, there you go, ma'am. Uh, sa example, if let's say, for example, ma'am, meron tayong um, member na RAG-PTD, nag-attend po ng RAG-PTD meeting, ma at tayo ay nagbabayad, which is hindi naman talaga, they are contributing to us at uh, 1,500 per hour rate. So if we multiply it at 10 members, meron po tayong 11,500 per meeting. And there is a minimum 6 RAG-PTD per meetings. That means in the year, so pag pre po natin ito in 2021 alone, kung nakumpleto po yung 6, it's around 69,000. So for a three-year projection, ma'am, meron tayong 207,000 key contribution just for the ATC1 or the Advisory Council key contribution number one. So isa pa lang po ito. So as shown po, as a result, no, ito po yung mga naging calculation po natin. Meron po tayong naging anim na rag PTD, hindi pa po namin na-include yung anim, pero on the fifth rag PTD alone, nakagarner na po tayo ng 66,000 pesos. Hindi po 66 pesos. 66,000 pesos. Sorry. My fault. As shown po, ma'am, is their attendance. And then, proceeding, ma'am, to the AKC2 or the Advisory Council key contribution number two uh, in terms of advisory uh, advocacy, Dito po pumapasok po yung RAG PTD Coffee Mondays natin, yung radio program natin which was approved also 
um, nung 2021-013. So, our intention here is to be able to engage stakeholders and customers by leveraging po yung technology. In this case, this is yung social media natin. So, this was the presented po and na-approved po na RAD PTD Coffee Mondays radio program. Yung dilaw po, mga bago na po yan. Pinagdag po natin sa ating mga segments. So, when we presented, ma'am, ito sa RAG PTD, the RAG PTD, ma'am, was targeted, ma'am, natin is one show per week. So, assuming, ma'am, that there is one show per week, four weeks in a month, that means that is 16 po um, from September to December. Uh, when I asked, ma'am, ma'am, Gail, which is the RAG PTD chair, uh, vice chair, sabi niya po, if ever na may mga shows po na ganito, nagpo-cost po siya ranging 20,000 up. So, kinuha lang po natin yung lower end, which is 20,000. So, pag gumawa po tayo ng sariling show natin, yun po yung cost nito. If babayaran yung RMDU. So, if you multiply it with 16, that's a projection of 320,000 pesos. So, ganun din po sa iba. Meron po tayong mga iba po pong activities, participation ng PNP activities, which is an hourly rate. So, that is 20 activities all, already, if not natupad, in a possible of 332,000 worth of rag PTDT contribution. However, this is the result. The result is uh, we already did 8 Coffee Monday, pang night po yung kaninang umaga. So, meron na po tayong nag-garner na 160,000 pesos worth of rag PTDT contribution. For the AKC3 num number 3 po, ma'am, uh, meron na po tayong skills enhancement na ma'am po. So, dito po naman tayo mag-focus. So, um, initially, ma'am, this were the projection. Meron po tayong RMDU seminar on privacy rights in healthcare uh, as provided by Attorney Flores. Uh, nga lang, hindi pa po nag-uumpisa ito. Basic life support and CPR. Uh, for info, ma'am, um, ma'am Nina offered po yung pong DOH to conduct po yung basic life support and, C and CPR, which they already did before. So, pag mapansin, ma'am, ninyo, yung mga to, in-offer po yan ng RAGPTB. Stop bleed naman, ma'am. This is more on uh, focusing. Ano din siya, ma'am? Emergency procedure, pero very simple procedure na ang point lang is to stop bleeding. So ito po ay in-offer po ni Mr. Domingo, which is uh, the chairman po and president po ng emergency, uh, emergency management center. Talagang kinakandak po nila ito. Then, um, K900 training, again, by, by Mr. Domingo, Crisis Management and Communications Media Handling. Uh, In-offer naman po ni Ma'am Gail ito as, as well as yung Financial Management Seminar. Again, kay Ma'am Gail po ito. So, as shown, Ma'am, uh, if, if ever po, seryosohin po natin ito, uh, it could garner around 1.9 million. So, if you can see, ma'am, ito yung may pinakamalaking distribution sa lahat ng mga key contribution kasi mahal po ang trading. But, unfortunately, ni isa po doon, wala po tayong nagawa. Um, but without trying naman po, nag-try naman po, pero hindi lang po nakatuloy. But good news naman po. Uh, last November 16, 2021, we did a deaf sensitivity orientation wherein we invited someone from the Deaf Institute of uh, Deaf Institute of the Philippines. So nagkanda po siya ng seminar. Online lang po ito. So nakagarner naman po tayo ng 129,000 wherein there were 258 participants including po yung mga police outside uh, outside uh, NCRPO. So ganyan po kadami yung nanood po at nakinig sa ating deaf sensitivity orientation. In terms naman po of moral and welfare improvement, meron po tayong mga scholarship supposed to be health and wellness, wellness benefits, etc. We proposed, ma'am, earlier on a bloodletting program. Um, so, MOA with Dogong Alay, Dogtong Buhay Incorporated. However, hindi po ito nag, hindi pa nagsisimula. Um, but thankfully, yung pong resolution na pirmahan naman po. So, it's just a matter of uh, signing na lang po ng MOA between NCRPO and Dugong Alay, Dugtong Buhay. So ito po yung bloodletting program. Ongoing po ito, in fact, uh, si Ma'am Gail po yung ating connect dito sa RAG PTD. And uh, as mentioned ko ma'am sa inyo, before we can do this on January, with or without MOA. 
So, why dugong buhay, dugtong buhay? Why not Philippine Red Cross? Eh, samantalang meron naman sa Philippine Red Cross. Isa lang po dahilan, may bayad. And then may kapalit pa po every time. Ang dami rekutitos, maraming kung ano-anong requirements. O, meanwhile, ma'am, sa dugong alay, dugtong buhay, ma'am, bukod sa hindi, kahit wala pa ma'am tayong MOA with them, sabi nga ni Ma'am Gail, we can already get blood from them. Kasi ngayon ma'am, kunyari meron tayong police ma'am sa district, meron tayong police diyan na nasa RND, wag naman sana. Nangailangan po ng dugo. Even ka mag-anak po nila, let's say misis, anak, at uh, kung sino man po 'yung nagre-require. Sabi po nung dugong alay, dugtong buhay, we can get it from them free of charge. And they can even deliver it to us kung nasaan po tayo. As an example po, uh, yung pong Region 4A po ma'am, nung nangailangan po yung police natin doon, ang ginawa po ng dugong alay, dugong alay, dugtong buhay ma'am, was pinadeliver pa nila doon sa Region 4. So as shown ma'am, uh, ito yung po yung naging projection natin uh, sa blood donation program, tsaka po yung IMISA with Father Salvador. For info ma'am, Father Salvador regularly conducts mass every 6 a.m. in the morning. So what we propose to what we propose sana was to be able to con conduct mass po uh, online lang naman po ito ini sa nga um, was to get that and then baka po may mga personal tayo na talagang religiously po na tagate ng misa they can now uh, attend these masses. So sayang din po sana yon input din pa sana siya. Um, yung dalawang pre-project po nating project, hindi po nangyari. Uh, but this one happened. Uh, what happened was, uh, yung pong si Ma'am Nina and through the efforts po ni Councillor Pami, who happens to be the Councillor of Taguig City, was able to give RMDU uh, the following, flu vaccines and pneumo vaccines. So, nakagarner po sila ng 1.3 million pesos. So, ito po yung big contributor po natin at uh, that kind of doses. So AKC5 naman po, capability enhancement. Um, Ma'am Gail donated PLDT tablet, which is ngayon ginagamit na po natin, yung tablet na ito. And then meron din po siyang dinonate na laptop. Uh, what we project for the laptop is to use it dito po sa admin duty natin. Uh, pa, kasi po yung nangyayari sa admin, uh, kailangan pa nilang i-access yung computer natin. And then, baka po magkaroon ng andun, uh, breach of security. So what we, what we are now going to do is to be able to use this laptop for the admin duty. Yung like 24 hours po natin. Para po, um, pwede rin niya pong dalin kung nasaan siya. Kung let's say for example, lumipat po siya ng lugar kasi siya po ay nasisiyar. Baka sakali pong bitbitin niya po ito just in case na kailangan-kailangan. But yun po yung projection namin. Last but not the least po yung AKC number 6, no? other contribution support to the PNP. Um, the RAG PTD is in, always invited po sa mga annual CPSM anniversary and then yung po mga CPSM activities. So as a result po, yung ating RAG PTD attended CPSM webinar and then the 7th NAG PTD summit which is also virtual. So in this case po, nakatotal na po tayo ng 9,000 pesos. As shown po, ma'am, sir, was our strategic shift for the RAG PTD from 500,000 worth of advisory council contribution on 2021 towards a 2 million yearly AC contribution by 2023. So our strategic objective po sana is to increase the yearly AC contribution by two folds. So mapapansin nyo po, ma'am, target natin is baseline ng 500 and then times 2, 1 million, times 2 po siya, 2 million. So based on the projections that we had and based on the activities na pinupost po natin, ito po yung mga projection, total projections natin. But of course, parating result po tayo, results driven. Ano po yung nangyari this year? So even though meron po tayong six months lang na buhay, no? bago lang po yung RAGPTD natin, we were able to achieve 1.7 million as our advisory council contribution using these metrics. So as shown po, uh, if we do a comparative analysis po ng dalawa po, uh, based on our projections versus po the results, uh, we had a negative variance of negative 
negative 946,500. Nonetheless, ma'am, it is a breakthrough. Bakit po? Kasi yung baseline lang naman natin, 500. Eh. Kung tutusin, sobra-sobra ma'am yung naging achievement po ng ating advisory council, despite po na anim na buwan pa lang po silang nabubuhay dito sa PNP. Ayan po, we have a breakthrough of 1.2 million pesos. Ngayon is revival? Yes ma'am, revival. <laughs> Nabuhay. <laughs> So, ma'am, uh, I have already presented the technical working group. I have already presented the RAG PTD. We now go towards the PSMU naman po. So, in terms of PSMU, let's now review the charter statement. Uh, this is where we incorporate po yung mga RAG PTD strategic initiative with the RMDU scorecard. Um, disclaimer lang po, sir, ma'am, no? Uh, yung pong ginagawa po natin dito sa charter statement is more of like we're, we're still trying ma'am to um, assess uh, our, our, is our scorecard working for us or is it just compliance? So I, 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 I stated muna po yun kasi po baka po um, kinukomply nga natin pero ang tanong po kasi at the end of the day is yung po bang scorecard na to ginagamit po ba natin? So, what did I do, ma'am, to, to find out? No? To find out, nagagamit po ba talaga ng, ng RMDU towards our advantage ang ating scorecard? So, what I did was to, to interview people. So, I started out interviewing po yung SHUs natin. Uh, anecdotal lang naman po, ma'am. Wala po akong study na ginawa. But I just wanted to find out if really alam po ba nila ang charter statement ni RMDU. And lo and behold po, out of the 10 SHUs po na in-interview ko, ni isa po sa kanila, wala po nakakaalam. So wala po may alam na mayroon po tayong charter statement ni hindi nga daw po nila nakita kung ano po yung charter statement ni RMDU. Then I went to our DS. I, I also interviewed po sampu po sa kanila. And I, all, I, I always ask the simple question. Alam niyo po ba yung PNP patrol plan na ginagawa po ng RMDU? And lo and behold, out of 10, zero po ang nakasagot po sa tanong na yun. So last but not the least po, I now go towards organic. Baka naman sabi ko, SHU siguro dahil taga-stasyon to. Wala siya pa kailam. O yung DS, hindi naman nila masyadong concern kasi hindi naman sila organic. Unfortunately, ma'am, um, yun nga, there seems to be, again, hindi po na-appreciate yung power, power po ng PGS or ng PNP Patrol Plan as a management tool dito naman po sa organic natin. As much as I wanted to say good things about it, but I... I Siguro ma'am, yun lang yung, yung downside sa akin ma'am. I'm very blunt on things. And then, mas maganda ma'am pag-usapan yung pangit para alam natin kung saan tayo mag improve So in this case ma'am, uh, based on my experience po ma'am, when we started out, and I, I will leave this up to the um, P, PSMU supervisors po ng per, per, per perspective. Mamaya ma'am, you could ask them what was their experience and feelings during nagsisimula kami. And then, ngayon po, na after six months po namin kinatrabaho po yung scorecard ng RMDU, ask them, ma'am, kung ano po yung nakita nila and how, how, what was the difference between ano yung tingin nila sa PGS noong araw at saka ano po yung tingin nila sa PGS ngayon after six In, months po. Excuse me, ha? Looking back three years yes, ago or four years, Papa. we were the one audited the NCRPO and di ba may nasubmit naman na findings dapat na ano na yon na resolve nakita mo na basa mo yung findings na audit nalaman sorry ma'am uh, ano yung yari kasi parang small group lang ba hindi to na ano eh sa buong paan NCR yes ma'am RMDU um, kaya yun ang nangyayari parang konti lang ang may alam mo lang buy in correct ma'am uh, thank you ma'am Thank you ma'am for 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 stating the term buy in. So buy in kasi ma'am marami ma'am tayong narinig na buy in, buy in. Tapos pag sa isang banda, madali sabihin ma'am, buy oh, may buy in ba kayo? Uh, I remember ma'am when I did my audit ma'am in region I think 13 ata 'yon. Ganyan din ma'am, sabi ko may buy in ba 'yung tao? 
So when when asked with that question, how do you now measure if talaga may buy-in yung tao? So ang hirap ma'am sabihin eh. Padalasan, sabi, papadala sa sa iyo yung tao. Ang papadala niya para interviewin mo bilang auditor is yung taga PSMU. Natural pag tinanong mo yung tao, nga, oh nga, alam niya kasi taga PSMU siya eh. Pero ang question kasi ma'am dito, siya ba yung gumagawa ng trabaho? And then, ang nangyayari ma'am, nagtuturuan, ay hindi ko kasi trabaho yan, PSM yung may gawa niyan eh. Siya lang yung, siya lang yung marunong, siya lang yung train. Unfortunately ma'am, yun din yung dilemma. Kung ang PSM yung lang ang marunong, tapos na-reassign si PSM yung, sino nang marunong? Sino nang naiwan? Eh, yung naiwan, yung hindi marunong. Eh, ending ma'am, walang marunong. So, kahit na, na-audit ma'am natin yung NCRPO way back three years ago, ending ma'am, wala na rin talagang marunong kasi baka hindi po na cascade down down to the level ma'am ng kung sino talaga yung nagtatrabaho. One of the things that I also observe ma'am here is that there seems to be parang secondary lang ma'am si PNP Patrol Plan 2030. Para bang we lost ma'am yung baga na undervalue ma'am natin yung importance ng PNP Patrol Plan 2030 and ang tingin ng tao, ma'am, dagdag trabaho siya, burden ang PNP Patrol Plan 2030. Which is far from the truth. Kasi if we know PNP Patrol Plan 2030 or PGS or Balance Forecard, kung yun ang gusto natin tawagin doon, then hindi po mahirap gawin yung trabaho natin kasi kailangan mo lang kumunik kung ano po si charter statement. Kailangan mo lang kumunik. O kunyari, ako ma'am, admin, asan ba ako dito? Panigurado ma'am, pasok ako sa learning and growth. Then if I know where I am in this strategy, then I can now contribute towards the attainment kung ano man yung objectives nun, yung strategic objectives. So, short of saying ma'am, what happened was um, our charter statement became a secondary thing rather than um, a tool, a tool for progress or continuous improvement. Hindi ma'am natin siya nagamit, sayang. Sayang ma'am yung tinuro ma'am sa atin ng CPSM. Sayang po yung, yung knowledge, yung wealth of, uh, wealth of knowledge ma'am. Na kung alam lang po natin at uh, we gave a little bit of time. Hindi naman 100%. We just give a portion of our time based on those strategy review, operations review, tactical review. Okay Ace. Yes, we'll work on it Ace. Ano, moving forward tayo. Apo. Usapan natin to how, how we will distribute the task. Okay. So anyway ma'am, ito po yung charter statement o yung bahay ni Kuya. And then ito po yung latest charter statement. I just would like to ask lang ma'am yung ating invited guest kung tama po itong mga uh, nakuha po namin na information. Ah, baka mali po ito. Nag-lapse ka na. <laughs> na. Nga eh. Tapos ito ma'am. Uh, ito ma'am yung I think latest. Ito yung nakita ko ma'am sa chinair po sa amin dito. Pero ma'am, ito po yung napansin na ko na ano na parang may discrepancies po. So let me show you ang what I did was to juxtapose po yung three years na charter statement. So as shown ma'am on the left, ito yung luma yung 2018. Ito po yung in between uh, sa sa pagagather ko po ng information. Ito po yung nabuo ko. And then last but not the least, ito po yung I think uh, based doon po sa pinakabago. So what are the things that I noticed ma'am? First, ma'am, doon sa vision uh, from a dynamic health service noong araw, 2020, laps na siya. So, ito na yung bago. Highly capable PNP health service providing a continuum of quality responsive health care. So, by 2030 na po ito. So, ang question ko lang po, ma'am, dito is again, no, what, what is highly capable? Ano po ba yung ibig sabihin nun? What is continuum? What is quality? What is responsive? Um, Please be informed po, sir, ma'am, that when we put words po doon sa vision natin, kailangan po we should be able to operationalize it. Meaning, if after 2030, kunyari 2030 na today, how can we say that we are highly capable? How can we say that we have continuum? How, would the, how did we say that we are successful in achieving quality? How did we say that we are responsive? So, yun po. So, this will reflect on the measures. Yes. Correct, ma'am. Yes, and the vision was a collective brain cells of different personalities of health service, PSM, and uh, TWG members and advisory council of HS. 
and it was approved. Thank you, ma'am. So, kaya ko lang ma'am hina-highlight ito is not to question it, but rather, um, pag tandaan lang po natin ma'am itong mga words na ito when we now go towards ma'am doon sa um, yung ating mga strategic objectives which I will be discussing in a moment. So, ito naman ma'am yung mission. Hindi naman po nagbago. But of course, ang nagbago po is meron na tayong philosophy ngayon and then meron tayong core values. So, again ma'am, we just ask the question, how come uh, yung pong dependence o tricibillian, nandito pa siya sa mission. Pero pag tinignan po natin community perspective, ang mapansin ninyo ma'am, nawala siya. So yung pinaka-latest ma'am, mapansin ninyo, dati tatlo pa, PNP personnel, dependents, and authorized civilians. And then, yung pangalawa, dependents na lang. And then, yung pangatlo ma'am, nawala na lahat. PNP personnel lang naiwan. So yun yung isang isang nakita. Yeah, so, just the same as yung fund daw is for PNP personnel naman daw hindi kasama hmm. sa fund yes, ng PNP. Para ma'am, ang problema ma'am in in reality, <laughs> kinikater pa rin ma'am natin yung dependence at saka Yes, through yung, our parang, advisory councils and other stakeholders. Correct ma'am. So yun lang ma'am. Uh, so it's worthwhile ma'am na makita ma'am natin ito so that we could uh, ask the proper questions. Okay, so dito ma'am sa measure profile, uh, community perspective ma'am, we have uh, yung objective natin as shown, physically fit and health, uh, healthy PNP independence. So ito po yung sa ating health service. Hindi uh, ko na muna ma'am i-present ito. We'll go straight ma'am muna doon sa presentation po ng community perspective. Eric, nandiyan na ba si ano, Lieutenant Laryosa? Eric? Sorry mama kung lengthy yung discussion kanina <laughs> kasi uh, mahaba talaga siya. Eric, nandiyan ka pa ba? Anyway, Lieutenant Lariosa, nandito ka na ba? Can we ask Lieutenant Lariosa to present already her output? Yes, sir. Present po, sir. Ay, okay. Nandiyan ka na pala. Sige, uh, take it away, uh, Ice. Yes, Please sir. Please present your uh, input. Yes po, sir. Wait lang po, sir. Roland, paano i-share screen? Oh. Uh -oh. Okay na? Okay na? Good afternoon to our Chief RMDU, Police Colonel Michelle A. Arban, ma'am. Good afternoon to, our, to my senior officers and good afternoon to all present here. I will present to you, I will present to you the community perspective po. First is community perspective, community objective, physically fit and mentally healthy. NCRPO personnel, independence, and authorized civilian. Measures, percentage of NCRPO personnel who are vaccinated with COVID-19. Target, 98%. Initiative, vaccination awareness program. Target, 99%. Uh, we, we got this, ma'am, sir. Uh, quarterly, we... Kinuha po namin yung quarterly po, 25% po. Since nag-start naman po tayo ng March, sir, first quarter po. Ngayon, fourth quarter na po, in na po namin siya ng 99% po. Accomplishment, 98% from March to present. Variance, negative 1%. Negative 1% are those personnel not yet vaccinated. Health of PNP personnel is maintained and continually monitored. Cross match with OMPI, O is met for NCRPO personnel, M satisfied, T achieved. Initiative highly relevant. Po. Identification of gaps 
increase in NCRP of total strength due to newly appointed police officers. As of now, as of December 11, sir, NCRP of total strength is 23,671. NCRP of personnel who do not want to avail the COVID-19 due to underlying medical conditions. These are the personnel who do not want to avail the COVID-19 due to underlying medical conditions. From our HQ, we have 26 pop. From RMFB, 14. NPD, we have 15 unvaccinated personnel pop. And then sa EPD po, 8. And then sa MPD, dalawa na lang po. And sa SPD po, we have 23. Sa QC, 11 po. Interventions. Ay, identification of gaps, sir, sa last po is NCRPO who refused to get vaccinated as stated in their waiver. Ito naman po yung yung mga personnel naman po talaga na nag-refuse talaga refuse to get vaccinated as stated in their waiver po. 21 po lahat sila. Intervention, create a line list, identify and vaccinated newly appointed police officer, encourage them to get vaccinated. From the 22 po, na unvaccinated before, may dalawa na lang po tayong may dalawa na lang po tayong newly appointed patrolman na na unvaccinated. Ngayon po ongoing ang PSB, ongoing ang training po nila sa sa uh, Lucena po. Si patrolman Catalan, Jan Cyril Deleto at saka si patrolman Manalang Lester Bungay po. To coordinate intervention with that, sir, is to coordinate with Region 4A and NCRTC the vaccination of those personnel who are not yet vaccinated. Since ang Lucena po is under, uh, duri, ay, nasa area po ng 4A, dun na lang po tayo makikipag-coordinate po. Letter C, conduct health education, awareness, and monitoring of those unvaccinated personnel via social media platform and SMS text bless. Um, ngayon po, ma'am, sir, in, uh, continuous naman po yung pag-monitor namin sa kanila at ini-encourage po namin silang magpabaksin na. Gumawa po kami ng GC para po ma-monitor po sila at ma-encourage na magpabaksin na po sila, sir. Ito po yung mga IO materials na na kinreate po ng RMDU regarding sa COVID-19 vaccines po. At ito po ay posted po sa ating social uh, Facebook page po. Ito po yung sa mga mga lactating mothers po sa pregnant tapos yung mga may cancer pwede po ba silang magpavaksin yung mga immune compromised po pwede rin po ba silang magpavaksin then diabetes po itong infographic material sir kinuha po namin lahat to sa DO, sa yung content na service sa DOH po at saka sa WHO. Then din lang po sir sa sa vaccination program po. Next is Roland, hindi ko siya makuha. Next is
is the survey po. Community pers perspective, community objective, quality healthcare services, the NCRP of personnel, dependents, and authorized civilian. Measure percentage of patient to avail the healthcare services or patient satisfaction survey. Target 92%. Initiative, Kamusta ka po program and community engagement. Ngayon po, as of October po, 84% per, uh, po may negative 8 variants po tayo. Negative 8% decrease in patient satisfaction survey. It shows that there are patients who are not satisfied with the different services rendered by RND UNCR. O, MET. Measure satisfied, target not achieved but acceptable, initiative re relevant, identification of gap, lack of medicines and medical equipment. Ito po, comment based on the online patient satisfaction survey, uh, hindi available ang gamot nung sumakit ang chen po. Pangalawa, yung isa rin po is kakulang, kakulangan pa po sa gamot. Kailangan ang makabagong unit sa medical to provide additional equipment to make their patient comfortable. Then letter B is experience in seeking or receiving healthcare services. Intervention, identification of medicines based on top 10 diseases. Ito po yung mga top 10 most common reasons of consultation natin from November to December. Number one is punctured wound. Two, musculoskeletal strain. Hypertension. Hypersensitivity reaction. Number five, animal bite. Number six, cellulitis. Seven, gunshot wound. Number eight, COVID case po. Nine, abdominal pain. And ten, conjunctivitis po. Number two, Intervention, procurement of medicine based on identified top 10 diseases and medical equipment. Three, regular conduct of inventory. Telemonitoring or RMDU, kamusta ka po program by the use of different media and social media platform to reach out and follow up clients previously took services from RMDU. Then last po yung conduct of community engagement via key interview or group interview with target clients to assess the delivered healthcare services of RMDU and identify the priority services that needs to improve or address. That's also for community perspective. <laughs> Thank you, Ice. Uh, Paano to? I-tanggalin? Tanggalin mo yung pa. Ako. Stop. Stop lang. So, that concludes, ma'am, yung ating uh, mga naging revisions po on the scorecard in terms of community perspective. Um, comparing, ma'am, yung scorecard po ni Health Service at saka ni RMDU, may isa po tayong bago doon. Yung pong vaccination program. Pag mapansin po, <clears throat> sorry, pag mapansin ninyo ma'am, uh, bulk ng trabaho po at saka pondo po natin, nakadedicate po mula 2020 hanggang 2021 towards COVID-19. Pero magtataka ma'am kayo, wala siya sa scorecard. Hindi natin siya monitor Ano yung progress natin? So, parang disjointed ma'am no? that we have a strategy, uh, we have a charter statement and yet hindi naman po nare-recognize po yung talagang ginagawa na achievement po ni, ni RMDU. Hindi siya nakalagay po sa, sa ating scorecard. That's why we recommended, ma'am, that uh, another, object, uh, another measure that we should um, put in our scorecard in RMDU and CRPO <clears throat> is the incorporation po of the vaccination measure. So in this case po, yun po yung... Uh, naging output po. And I would like to commend po uh, si Lieutenant Lariosa for having done this um, based on our tactical review and operations review. So again, ma'am, uh, to our chief, ma'am, any, any guidance? No? 
Yun lang yun, no, yung na-notice ko sa vaccination. Tsaka pa lang nag, ano, nag-act pa na. Ano na yung waiver nito, di ba? Meron naman palang ano, saan ang uh, pack-ship nito? Um, for now, ma'am, alam ko, guys, ginawa mo na ito, may draft ka na ito, di ba? Yung sa, tag dito. Uh, yung best practice nun, no, yung pinakumtay sa atin sa, yung yeah. template. Oo, kasi dapat nandun na rin yung, paano yung mga personal na ayaw vaccine dapat nakarele naka ano na rin doon state what will be our recommendations meron naman pala dito sa scorecard um ma'am for info ma'am bago lang talaga yan tayo lang meron yan oo nga uh, pero nung ano kasi meron naman pala na di ba assume doon pa lang nag ano paano natin gawin yung mga hindi natuan ngayon pa lang nagmo-monitor ng mga nagtatawag-tawag ng mga na may waiver Meron naman pala sa scorecard na. So hindi masyado na review to at ano mga strategy natin. Um for info ma'am, uh ngayon pinopropose pa lang ma'am natin ito sa inyo since ngayon pa lang ma'am tayo nagkaroon ng strategy review. So ma'am for info, before wala talaga siya. Uh, ngayon pa lang siya magkakaroon if aaprubahan po ninyo. Oo, uh, ano natin yung fact sheet nito? Asap para ma ano ma-address natin o present natin doon sa Ma'am. Sige ma'am. Yes, yes po ma'am. Copy po ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much ma'am. Ma'am may, may we ask uh, some comments po or insight po from our health service PSMU regarding the community perspective? Ma'am. Sir, doon lang po sa measure na sa vaccination program po yung today sa yung sa nakalagay kasi sa target niya sir is ninety percent sir. Doon sa taas po. Doon sa supposed to be accomplishment target niyo po yun nalito lang po kasi ako sir opo sir sorry po ma'am i-continue lang po to ma'am ah clerical error oh, sige yes. sige thank you thank you very much thank you and then you um, sige sige go ahead yung sa measure niyo ba sir sa vaccination program Bago lang po ba yun, sir? Correct. Wala yan sa inyo, di ba? Hindi naman oh, ninyo sir. minamonitor to. Wala sa strategy natin sa health service. So, um, yes, correct ka. Bago ito, it's a new it's a new measure. And ngayon pa lang po namin pinopropose. Uh, since ngayon lang po tayo nagkaroon ng strategy review. So, we need the approval po kasi ng ating chief. And in this case, si ma'am, nag-approve naman po siya. So, what we are going to do next is to reduce this into writing Um, as mentioned, uh, we'll do a resolution and a project fact sheet. Yes. yes. Yun lang Atong, po, sir. Oh, thank you. But for info, ha, wala sa strategy, wala sa scorecard ng health service ito. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sige, ano na lang po yung resolution niya, sir? Sure, no problem. Thank you po. Um, any comments naman po sa ating NCRPO representative uh, health service, ah sorry health service NCRPO PSMU R9 Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, NUP Hello. General Billy Garcia from R9. Uh, late na po akong nakapag-join sa Zoom. Sorry po kasi naiwan ko po yung charger ko sa office. Binalikan ko lang po kanina. Nakuha ko lang po ngayon. Okay, so hindi ko po naabutan yung presentation for the community perspective. Ah, okay. Sige lang. Uh, thank you. Uh, anyway, uh, nakapost naman ito sa... ano. Ipopost namin ito sa ating Facebook page and uh, YouTube channel. Um, if you want to review that so that uh, hindi lang naman ito ngayon, maybe baka meron po kayong ginagawa sa NCRTO that you could share with us uh, that could help us also align 
nakapag-align din po kami sa NCRP o baka may meron po kayong ginagawa dyan that we could contribute in terms of community perspective. Yes, sir. Noted also. Thank you. So, ma'am, uh, with the permission of our chief, ma'am, uh, let me just continue on with the, my presentation. Yes, continue, Ace. Thank you, ma'am. So, that now concludes po yung community perspective and we would like to thank uh, yung ating HSPSMU and R9 as well as our chief to have approved po yung vaccination. Ano? So, as an added measure po ng ating community perspective, naran na po tayong bago. And this will be reduced into a resolution as well as a presentation of the project fact sheet uh, for the approval of the technical working group and eventually the approval of the chief R&D. So as shown po, sir, ma'am, um, I would like to just shortly present to you the stakeholder analysis. This is was this was uh, the proposed resolution number 2021-11. Um, the problem was hindi po siya na approve. Um, but let me now have another. Another, ano, ma another go of what this is and explain uh, what is its use. So the stakeholder analysis, ma'am, is knowing our stakeholders and customers. Um, saan po ba ito sa ating ecosystem and ano ba yung mga key success factors uh, na dapat natin identify based on our customers and stakeholders. So let's first differentiate lang po yung stakeholder with versus customer. So customer, ma'am, and sir, uh, it is the person or entity that directly receives or purchases the product, whether it is goods or yung tangible products or services, which is intangible products, and has the ability to buy or rate it. Uh, so minsan, ma'am, di ba, pag tinanong tayo, sino ba ang customer mo kapag nagbebenta ka ng gatas ng bata? Ang customer mo ba ay yung baby o yung nanay? Diba? Hindi naman bibili yung baby. Yung nanay. Nanay yung bibili. So, uh, it's good to know that sino ba talaga ang customer ni RMDU? Is it, is it the NCRPO, NCRPO uh, hierarchy? Or is it the personnel ng, ng NCRPO? So, yun po yung magkaiba doon. Now, uh, the other one is the stakeholder. So, pag sabi naman po natin stakeholder, it is a person a group or an organization, whether it is external the unit or internal siya, that is directly or indirectly, meaning directly mo bang nakakausap ito or directly affected ba siya or indirect naman siyang affected. Whether yung affect niya sa atin or sa kanya is positive ba ito or negative and by a product of goods or services. So as shown po, ma'am, sir, ito po yung... Uh, uh, proposal po namin regarding po dito. Uh, I based this one in the ISO 9001-2015 under clause 4.1, understanding the organization and its context. So it's very important for us to first identify who are our customers and who are our stakeholders. So by using a, uh, a an illustration wherein divide po natin into external, internal, and then primary and secondary, mapapansin po ninyo, we can now identify po four four groups of people. The first group, ma'am, being yung primary and uh, external to the RMDU is the customers. And again, customer po natin divided into three, PNP, dependence, authorized civilian. PNP also sub -fur further is divided to PCO, PNCO, and UP, and dependence, and so on and so forth. Um, pag tinawang po sa secondary stakeholders, ito po yung indirectly affected po ng RMDU uh, RMDU uh, services, ito po yung non-PNP healthcare, uh, healthcare related services, hindi po sa PNP siya. So, ito po yung government healthcare provider, like DOH Phil, PhilHealth, or PhilHealth, uh, government non-healthcare non provider, ito naman po yung LGU, DFA, Comelec, Judiciary, TESDA, and then non-government healthcare, wala siya sa gobyerno, pero nasa healthcare business siya, like private hospitals, no? mga tertiary hospitals dito sa Taguig, and so on and so forth. And then the non-government and non-health care. So ito naman po yung mga event organizer, hotel managers na maaaring nakakasalamuha natin. Like nice hotel. Diba? Yung nice hotel, hindi naman siya government. Pero dahil sila yung may-ari ng hotel, so yun yung nakakasalamuha natin. Next is the general community and the social connection. As well as yung pong sa internal, uh, nandiyan naman po yung HS sa NCRPO command, pero medyo technical ito kasi 
wala naman siya sa RMDU. No? But in terms of RMDU personnel, internally, the, our primary customer, lalo po kaming mga nasa support services, like admin, like, sila po yung customer namin, like core services and then yung support services. And as well as yung nasa exter internal, external. Uh, internal but secondary. Ito na po yung mga personal from other health, health services. And then yung uh, like yung main effort natin, like yung PNPGH, SHUs, MRF. So yan po yun. So as shown po, there are 600 plus RMDU personal composite of organic detailed and SHUs. But externally, we have 23,000 plus NCRP personnel. Hindi pa po kasama dito yung RSUs natin, yung mga regional support units. Yung pa, uh, ra, ri, riyad, riyas, pala, riyas. So as shown naman po is the Regional Health Service NCRP organizational structure. Unfortunately po, ma'am, sir, eh, wala naman po tayong numbers. Uh, latest ko po, sabi ng taga PRMD, wala pong numbers ito. Walang authorized strength. Uh, meron po, may, pero meron proposed. May proposed uh, structure. As shown po, sir, ma'am, is the NCRP epidemiology based sa uh, ito pong data na to sa PE. Uh, so, um, ito po ang data na to laps na po, January 2021 pa po siya. So, mapansin ninyo, number one natin is yung cholesterol. Then, hypertension is um, Based naman po sa ating BMI result, uh, January pa rin po itong data. Sorry, wala po akong updated. Uh, yung overweight po natin yung may pinakamalaking bulk um, na hindi po normal, which is at 30%. So, sa female and then overall. So, based naman po sa data na binigay po ng dispensary sa akin, ito naman po yung top 10 consultation natin. Uh, top 1 po natin, top 1 po natin na consultation of calendar year 2021 is fever. Then so on and so on. And uh, ang tanong po, ano nga po ba yung naging response ni RMDU sa COVID-19? Eh wala naman siya sa scorecard. So kaya po na isip po namin sa PSMU to propose a new measure that is uh, more more focused po sa vaccination, which is yun naman po talaga. So as shown po yung aming tactical review that we did with Lieutenant Lariosa, sorry yung assistant niya wala dyan. So now we move past to process excellence perspective. So the supervisor for this one is Police Lieutenant Reynaldo Muelia Jr. with his assistant, uh, Police Staff Sergeant Arago. So as shown po, sir, ma'am, mapapansin po ninyo, wala po yung isang objective na wala po siya sa ating juxta post, no? na wala yung improved health status. Ang naiwan po yung tatlo. Please take note po, sir, ma'am, na yung ensure entering improve treatment facility, and ensure wellness. So, pag mapansin po, binili ka namin yung measure profile. Ano? So, based on sa measure profile, nakalagay po, improve treatment facilities and services. So, diniscuss po namin sa PSMU, how come, uh, ano po yung naging measure natin? So, based po doon sa measure na ng health service is the total percentage of DOH requirement over total percentage of um, RMDU compliance. So, isa lang napansin namin dito, baliktad yung denominator sa numerator. Kasi supposed to be dapat ito yung nasa taas. Rather than yung kung DOH ang nasa taas, dapat po yung nasa baba. Ang question lang po namin dito is uh, ilan po ba yung DOH requirement? Diba? So, yun yung, yung, yung ano natin, yung question dito. Next po is measure profile number 3A. Ang nakalagay po sir ma'am, improve, no? improve treatment facility and services. However, pag tinignan po namin sir ma'am yung pong measure, nakalagay po dito number of PNP personnel who benefited the medical services over total number of targeted target patients who will avail medical services. So medyo mahaba po yung naging discussion po sir ma'am namin dito kasi we were asking the question, um, is this improving? Or is, is this just been counting? Baga parang binibilang lang natin na naging pasyente natin. So, uh, parang kulang po yung ano, metrics. I mean, hindi po natin, na, hindi maintindihan kung ito po ay, is, does this improve po yung treatment 
how does this measure improve the treatment facility? So mamaya po, i-discuss po ni Lieutenant Melia yung pong naging uh, uh, realization po namin and, and ano yung pinapropose po namin na bagong measure. Para po, masagot po natin yung objective which is improve treatment sa facility. Kasi this one does not seem to show we are improving. Ito, data pa lang ito. Baga na bilang lang natin kung ilang yung pasyente. Pero ang tanong, nag-improve ba tayo doon? So hindi natin ma-monitor yung improvement. Next po, ganun din po uh, sa laboratory. Sabi lang dito, ilan yung nagpa-laboratory? So binilang mo lang ilan yung pasyente. Pero totoo doon, talaga naman trabaho po natin magpa-laboratory. Pero ang question po sir ma'am, did we improve the treatment facility and services? So yun po kasi yung strategic objective. So kung bibilangin lang po natin ilan, ano po yung in-improve natin doon? Wala. Wala tayong na-improve. Next po is surgical services. So again po, same po ng medical, same din po ng laboratory. Binilang din po natin kung ilan lang po yung nagpa-surgery. So nag-improve po ba yung treatment facility and services? Again ma'am, binilang lang po natin yung pasyente. So mamaya po, ipipresent ko ni Lieutenant Malia yung naging recommendation po naman for um, improving our measures. Ganon din po, yung pangatlo, um, who benefited dental services? So binilang din natin again kung ilan yung nagpa-dentist dito sa RMDU. Again, it does not show yung measure, does not show that we are improving. Next po is ensuring those entering the PNP are mentally and physically fit. So, ma'am, sir, take note po. No? Ang objective po dito is ensure those entering the PNP are mentally and physically fit. Pero ma'am, tingnan ninyo po yung ating measure. Tingnan po natin yung, yung paano natin kinakalkula. Ang sabi dito, total number of newly appointed PNP recruits less total number of newly appointed PNP recruits RTU due to medical and dental reason over total number of newly appointed PNP recruits. So, kinwestiyon po namin ito and during our discussion, Sir Ma'am, tumalabas po, kung ang binibilang po, po natin dito is newly appointed PNP recruit, then hindi na po siya entering the PNP. He is not entered na siya. Nasa PNP na siya. Bibig sabihin, Ma'am, police na siya. So, the strategic objective is misaligned po doon sa measure. Kasi if our object, strategic objective is to prevent people who are not medically and physically healthy pumasok sa PNP, then na-defeat na po ng purpose doon measure. Kasi ang measure po, ang binibilang natin, ilan yung newly, newly appointed PNP recruits? So yun po yung naging question po namin dito. That's why later po, ipipresent po ni Lieutenant Melia yung aming recommendation po to improve po yung measure para makita po natin how do we now address, um, how do we do, I mean, how do we uh, improve our um, ability ng RMDU to be able to, to detect sino po yung mentally and physically unfit. So parang ganun po yung, yung gusto naming malaman dito. Next naman po yung measure profile 4B. So nakalagay po dito, ensure those entering the PNP are mentally and physically fit. So pag tinignan naman po yung measure, again, number of newly appointed PNP recruits. So parang ang, walang logic ma'am, sir. Uh, how come we are already counting yung newly appointed? If PNP na siya, hindi, hindi pa lang, naka-enter na naman siya sa PNP. So again po, there, there seems to be a... Uh, parang hindi po maintindihan yung measure in relation po sa objective, yung strategic objective. So again, we are going to reco recommend po later uh, uh, an improvement po on our measure. Next naman po sir, ma'am, is ensure wellness of those already in the service. Nasa servisyo na po ito. So ito po yung Kung tutusin ma'am, yung measure na yun, mas appropriate siya dito sa ensure wellness of those already in the service kasi nasa, nasa service na siya eh. So, dito ma'am, ang sabi ng measure, pag dinescribe siya, it is the increased percentage of personnel classified as P2 from P3 temporary. So, how is the measure calculated? So, ito po yung formula, P number of PNP personnel classified as P2 over total number of PNP personnel classified as P3. P3 temporary. 
may may problema lang po dito ma'am again uh, parang may kulang yung yung measure in fact mali, baliktad kasi at uh, uh, parang may kulang lang sa description but uh, again ma'am mamaya may ipepresent po si Lieutenant Melia regarding this one Next one is ensure wellness pa rin po of those already in the service. Uh, ang sabi dito sa measure is increased percentage of PNP personnel who have undergone stress management seminar. So dito po, number of PNP personnel who were endorsed for stress management seminar and then total number of PNP personnel who have undergone. So baliktad, baliktad lang po sir ma'am yung pong numerator sa denominator. Kasi ilalabas ito, uh, hindi siya percent. Baka magiging 100-400% po. Kasi mali yung formula. Okay, next po is ensure wellness pa rin po of those already in the service. Pero this time, increasing percentage of PNP person who have undergone psychological counseling. So again ma'am, sir, been counting po ito ha. Um, knowing the number of people who have undergone the psycholo psychological counseling, ang question po lang dito is what does that mean? Uh, did we improve? Pero yun nga, uh, again, dito lang po kami nagkaroon ng question din, number of personal who were endorsed by psychological counseling, in-endorse siya. Pero dito sa baba, baliktad ulit yung ating numerator sa denominator. Next po uh, is ganun pa rin po, 6C. Increasing percentage naman po of PNP person who have undergone stress debriefing. So, may mali na naman po dito sa ating formula. Baliktad lang po. Next is develop uh, responsive healthcare services. Increasing number of health, health caravan conducted to police provincial offices. So, again, sir, ma'am, uh, hindi po ito uh, specific for RMDU and CRPO kasi wala po tayong provincial offices. Meron tayong district. Meron tayong... Uh, stations. So siguro ano lang uh, a correction on the terms but uh, ang question lang po namin sir ma'am yung pong healthcare ano health caravan um itanong ko lang po muna doon sa ating uh, representative from PSMU ma'am sir ma'am ano po ba yung ibig sabihin ng health health caravan ano po ba yung criteria po nito Hello sir. Hey. Sir, ang pagkakalam ko sa health caravan po is yung PNP personnel lang po ang um, indicated po sa PPO po. Okay. So, ano bang hinahanap natin dito sa health caravan? I mean, what's the objective of the health caravan? As of now, sir, pinag-uusapan pa rin namin yung sa health caravan po kung ano pa yung gagawin namin para maayos na po itong health caravan at ano-ano yung, yung mga activities under health caravan, sir. Okay. So, um, ma'am, uh, for info po, ma'am, pag mapapansin ninyo, ma'am, dito sa Measure Profile 7, ang nakalagay po ni strategic objective is develop a responsive health care services. Ang problema ma'am, pag binalikan po natin yung ang ating scorecard, sorry. So ma'am, pag binalikan po natin yung ating scorecard again. Yeah. Pag binalikan po natin yung scorecard ma'am natin, tinanggal na po nila yung pang pang, pang apat eh. So yung pang yung yung measure po na yon and at the same time strategic objective na yun wala siya dito. So again ma'am no again we're just asking the question um, what happened? Kasama pa rin po ba talaga yung improve health sta, uh, yung develop baka binago na po nila. So dito kasi sa pinakabago natin wala na siya eh. So hindi po natin malaman, bibilangin ba natin hindi natin bibilangin kasi sa charter statement wala. Wala siya doon. So going back ma'am sa measure profile number 7, yun po yung question namin. Ito po ba kasama sa charter statement o hindi? Tapos iba wala rin talaga tong terms na to. Excuse me is. Yes ma'am. 
nasa ano din yan is concept paper sa fact sheet. Henley, ano, Joan, HSPSMU, please review. Ah, yes po, ma'am. And present to us the fact sheet of this profile. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Salamat, ma'am. So, yun. Uh, now we move on. Uh, before we move on, ito po si Lieutenant Melia. Uh, I now turn over, ma'am, to uh, Lieutenant Melia, the presentation of the process excellence perspective. Hello, sir, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, this, is the, this is the part for the process excellence. The first objective is to increase percentage of the OH license and field health accredited primary care pages facilities. The book. What is the objective? Improve treatment facilities and service. And what is the measure? Increase percentage of POH license and field health accredited primary care HS facilities. So, so on. Okay. Okay, and how is the measure calculated? It is clarified the terms in the formula. And, uh, the formula for this uh, measure is total number of DOH requirements over total number of R&D compliance for the DOH requirements times 100. Tapos, sino po yung mga responsible po dito? Setting targets, the logistics and admin division. And who is accountable for targets, logistics again, and the admin division. And who's responsible for tracking and reporting targets, the logistics and admin division. And the targets for the calendar year 2021, yung available daw po, po ay 25%. And ito po yung ano, sa link po natin. Process excellence, yung variance po. Yung impact of process shift on objective, the advantage of acquiring a DOH license HS. All facilities is the recognition of having attained the standards of health care provision set by the DOH. This ensures that quality health care services can be adequately provided within the scope of its functions. Capabilities likewise with the accreditation of field health additional funds and resources. Cross match with OMTI, O partially M. The formula is wrong. The numerator and denominator should be interchanged. Target not achieved, the starting initiative responsive. And the gap is construct, construction of medical center because uh, the construction dito po sa campo, medical center po natin, wala pa pong update. The intervention coordinate with the DOH HFEP for the inclusion of prepare and renovation of RMDU, request for support from other government and private agencies for the provision of financial assistance, inclusion for the process of field health accreditation. So next. The second is percentage of PNP applicants. Sanitizer. Isa medical. 
medical services. Medical services. Measure profile 3A. <laughs> Medical services. So, okay, the objective is improve treatment facilities and service. Measure increased percentage of medical services. And how would be measured? by calculating the available medicine in relation to top 10 consultation, over medicines in relation to top 10 consultations. Okay, ano po ba yung mga top 10 consultations na meron po tayo? Yung top 10 consultation, yung sa Lipson, top 10 consultation for the calendar year 2021, based on the record here in the medical dispensary, the number one is fever. Number two, skin infection. Number three, URTI for injury, accident. Number five, headache, body ache. Number six, hypertension. Number seven, dizziness. Number eight, LBM. Nine, animal bite. Ten, allergy. Next on laboratory ancillary services. Okay, the measure profile 3B, objective, improve treatment facilities and service. What is the measure, increased percentage of laboratory services? And how would we measure? The uh, total number of PNP personnel sent for laboratories to avail under MOA over total number of PNP personnel referred to laboratory times 100. Okay. And what data is required in calculate the measure? As I said before, no, kailangan po natin yung MOA. And tama ba? Paklik sa nyo, ano yung link? Son? Surgical services. Okay. Measure profile C, 3C. Objective, improve treatment facilities and service. Measure availability of complete minor set for surgery per subunit. And how is the measure calculated? Number of subunit of RMDU with available complete minor set for surgery over total number of subunit of RMDU and surgery. Ito po yung ano. Uh, Accomplishment po natin is 100 and the uh, impact of process shift and the objective is essential surgical services available to all PNT personnel due to improvement of healthcare facility, enable the PNT HS to give the attention and quality, quality of care that the clients serve. MTI met relevant and target quarterly 25%. I is responsive. Yung gap po natin dito is personal lack of various trainings or experience for their professional enhancement. Intervention, improve treatment facility and maintain quality services offered. Continue by appointment schedule, regular calibration and maintenance of equipment. Inclusion to MOE to purchase minor set for surgery. Next on dental services. Yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Okay, balik sa slide. Surgical. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. 
Bakit naging mayroon kang gap at intervention and where in fact you accomplished 100%? Analyze this data. Lahat ng... Ha? Lahat po ng DMD yung ma'am meron na po ano. So, ma, so dapat ano ka, success, key success factor, key success... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Improve na lang ha. Thank you. Ma'am, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Son, dental services. Tasulat mo. Measure, measure profile 3D. What is the objective? Improve treatment facilities and service. Measure dental unit with complete requirement equipment. Okay. And how we'll be measuring it. Total identified dental unit with complete requirements equipment over total identified dental unit under RMDU and SRPO. Annual target 100, accomplishment 100%. Impact of process on objective commitment in fulfilling optim optimum dental services. Easy accessibility of PNP personnel to dental services. OMTI, net relevant and cheap responsive. The gap hesitancy and limited number of personnel availing dental treatment need, needed the recent sub -test. Intervention continue by appointment schedule, regular calibration, and maintenance of equipment. Inclusion to MOE to purchase minor set for surgery. And these are the, this is the list of the minor set that uh, that uh, the dental clinic would have extra oral dental vacuum system, one, air purifier, onion non steam, surgical instrument, laxator, dental unit sunlight, dental system model, dental unit oil, excellent. Uh, if you may indulge, uh, sir, ma'am, magbibigyan lang po kami ng copy nito for your reference. Ito po yung ano, ma'am, sir. Second level objectives. Ensure those entering the PNP. Uh, Lieutenant Malia. Yes. Pa-advise yes, naman yung kapitbahay mo dyan kung maka, makatawa. Wagas na wagas, rinig na rinig. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Second level objectives. Ensure those entering the PNP are mentally and physically fit. Measure percentage of PNP applicants processed by RMP during recruitment. Okay. What is the objective? Ensure an effective physical, medical, and dental examination. What is the measure percentage of PNP applicants processed by RMDU during recruitment? And the calculation for this is total number of endorsed applicants over total number of process, process applicants times 100. Ito po yung sa target natin, 100%, and accomplishment, 100% po. Team po ko process uh, ship on objective target with quota or for patrolman, patrolwoman applicants were filled up. OMTI uh, met. The formula is wrong. The numerator and denominator should be interchanged. Magkabaligtad po. Dapat po nasa taas yung, yung process, tapos nasa buha po yung indoors. Key success factor follow up on updates of PIN manual set with the NHQHS regular assessment of diagnostic tools and equipment. Next step continue proactive health monitoring of recruits. Regular medical forum for PMDE officers. They ensure entering the PNP are mentally and physically fit, increasing 
efficiency of PPE process for recruitment by identifying those who are returned to unit due to psychological reasons. Strategic initiatives use appropriate and updated tools for psychological assessment during recruitment. Competency enhancement, special development program for psychiatrists, psychologists, psychometricians, and NP screeners. Recruitment reassignment of psychiatry, psychologists, and psychometricians to the Department of Psychiatry and its regional counterparts. Um, sorry, ma'am. Uh, mag comment lang ako. Uh, ito ba yung napag-usapan natin last time? Yes, sir. Ito po. Okay, slay nga ulit kasi parang hindi ko matandaan ito yung sila kasi wala na. Ito sir. Kasi diba, um, for info, no, uh, I, I made the argument nga before that pag tinignan mo yung strategic objective natin, ang nakalagay kasi dito, entering. And entering is not the same as recruit already. Kasi yung nakalagay mo dito is number of newly appointed PNP recruits. Pero where in fact, paano mo masasabing uh, appointed ka na, e-entering ka pa nga lang dito sa strategic objective. We had a lengthy discussion regarding this one. That I made the argument na, eh, na how come ang strategic objective natin is nakalagay entering, hindi entered. So how come we are counting yung newly appointed PNP recruits? Diba yun yung naging discussion natin? I don't, I don't remember na. Yes, may psychological reasons ka, pero uh, how come yun yung... Bagay, ito kasi parang ang... Nag-gets mo yung logic, ano? Uh, okay? Yes, sir. Um, why are we counting people who are already in the service or entered the service, and yet, ang strategic objective natin is entering, meaning they are not yet in the service. Meaning, civilian pa rin sila dito. So, again, ano, there is no logic or hindi siya makonect, no, hindi, hindi magkakonect si strategic objective with our measures. Our measure should be logically tied up to your strategic objective. Hindi ka pwedeng magkaroon ng measure that is out of scope or out of bounds doon sa objective natin. So, yan yung ang haba ng pinagdiskusyonan natin dito last time. And yet, ito pa rin yung present natin. Yes, sir. Uh, I-try namin, sir, na, no? i-retrieve yung, sir, yung, ano, yung notes na masulat namin, sir. Okay. Yun lang, ma'am. Uh, sorry, uh, I need to butt in kasi... Uh, again, ma'am, I would like to again argue the point that kung ang strategic objective natin is entering, then the measure should be also pointing out sino tong entering the service. Eh, hindi PNP yun. That those are authorized civilians, which in this case are applicants. Applicante yun. Applicante. Hindi pa PNP yun. So yun lang naman. It's either yun, or baguhin natin yung strategic objective natin. Which is, then, I don't... Ano na lang ang HS case mag-refresh to replace other objectives? Yes, ma'am. Mag-ano tayo, mag-ask tayo ng mga kuan. Yung mass communication graduate. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, for info, uh, yan din po yung naging comment po ni Sir Baraceros uh, kasi invited ma'am siya doon sa last RAG PTD natin. We invited ma'am the Health Service uh, Advisory Council as well as si Sir Baraceros being the chairman ng NAG PTD. And yan nga din po yung naging presentation namin sa kanila and we got their um, insight regarding this one. Sabi nga, uh, there was a lengthy discussion nga rin on this one that uh, it seems like yung strategic objective versus po yung ating measure seems to be illogical. But ang sabi nga niya, talagang talaga strategic approach. So tama ma'am yung sabi ninyo. Ano, ano, kasi, ano kasi to recruitment process? Correct. So ano, Joanne, when will be your plan to conduct strategic uh, approach? Maybe next year ma'am by January po. 
January. Yes, ma'am. So, can you invite the NCRP or TPD and our PSMU? Para sa strategy refreshment. Invite. Pero Heads up na lang kami, Joanne, ha? Yes, po, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, move on tayo, ano? Uh, Ray? Yes, sir. Next one, sa ano? Uh, Nature wellness of those already in the service, measure increased percentage of personnel classified as P2 from P3 temporary. Ito po yung ano, yung sa formula po natin, total number of PNP personnel classified as P2 over total number of PNP personnel classified as PD3 times 100 percent. Yung accomplish po natin is by quarterly and the impact of it is the regular conduct of AP increases the health, health awareness of PNP personnel. MITI made relevant that achieve responsive gaps and compliant personal ongoing treatment of medical conditions or physical defects. Intervention. Provide proactive coordination with different admins for health monitoring. A personal with status of P PT3. Continuous representation to expand coverage of AP. Information drive strictly compliance to maintenance. Ito po yung data po natin. Uh, no? uh, na gather for this uh, objective. Number of classified P2 from P3 temporary. CY 2020 P2 from P3 temporary 89 over 449. Times 100 is equal to 19.8%. Calendar year 2021 first quarter. The P2 from P3 temporary 102 over P3 temporary 347. Times 100 is equal to 29.3%. It is uh, the top diseases during APE are one, hyperlipidemia, DM type 2, elevated liver enzyme, hyperosemia, hypertension, fatty liver, ECG findings. In case of the Ito po yung sa measure po natin, yung increased personal PB personnel of undergone stress management. And the uh, measure for this is increasing, ay, the calculation for this is the number of PNP personnel who were endorsed for stress um, management. Te teka, teka, Ray, Ray, mayroon tanong dito si uh, NUP uh, Villagracia, yung ating representative from R9. Ma'am yes. Ma Bilya Gracia, uh, please ask your question regarding po dun sa attainable target of 100% increase of P2 from P3. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Ma'am, uh, nakita ko lang po kasi din, sir, sa target niyo na 100% increase percentage po. Uh, is 100% attainable for this year, 2021 po ba? Attainable po po siya? na gusto po natin na madagdagan yung uh, increased percentage of personnel classified as P2 from P3 temporary. So, kaya po bang makuha yung 100% in increase in percentage? 
dodoblehin po natin kung let's say the data po nung nakaraang 2020 ay isang libo, dodoblehin po natin ngayong taon, gagawin po natin dalawang libo. Tama po ba yun, sir? Okay. <laughs> Verification lang, sir, kung attainable po 100% increase percentage of personnel. Dodoblehin po natin ngayong taon. Kaya po ba? So baka po kasi overshoot po tayo sa target, malaki po yung mga naging negative variance natin if we are overshooting to the target. Kung quarterly po, 25% is attainable po ba yun? Kasi wala po akong nakita ang data ng previous three years. So. Correct. Good question. Oh, oh. <laughs> Verification lang, sir. <laughs> Actually, maganda yung tanong mo na yan. And uh, one of the things that we should consider po talaga is yung historical data para makita mo kung pag nagkawa ka ng target setting is uh, tama ba yung target mo. So in this case, uh, this was the measure uh, and then targets that is being parang pinakukumply ng health service. So uh, yes, they, we, we recognize ma'am, na yun yung naging annual target ma'am natin based on what was required by health service. Pero yun nga, is it attainable? Ano ba siya? Totoo lang ba talagang makukuha yung 100%? Without any data kasi ma'am, wala talaga tayong uh, pwedeng maging basis. In fact, i-add ko pa nga yung question na uh, do we have data ba ano, uh, ray na nakuha regarding sa past nating uh, number of people who were transitioned from P3 temporary to P2? Meron ka bang historical data na nag-gather? Di ba yun yung na-discuss natin before? Yes sir, just only for the year uh, 2020. Ah, sige, pakita mo nga. Yan. Okay, para may data tayo. Yan po. For the calendar year 2020, that is the data 89 over 449 times 19.8%. And for the... 0.3%. Okay, sir. Nakita ko po yung data ninyo, sir. Thank you, sir. But uh, if you are comparing the data from annual versus the quarterly, hindi naman po sa, hindi po sa yata siya fair. So, kukunin po natin, kung i-imagine po tayo ng trend line, alam niyo ba yung trend line, if you want to increase, percentage increase, so that the trend line must be going up. Eh, ang nilagay niyo po dyan is annual. Magkakaroon po kayo ng performance gap, sir. You committed a performance gap na hindi nyo nakikita at hindi nyo nalalaman, sir. Kasi, sir, you are comparing the data for the annual to versus the quarter. So, makilang po natin malaman kung ilan po yung nakuha ng last quarter, last quarter of 2020, kung na-increase nyo po yun nung first quarter ng 2021. Kasi yung nakita po natin is annual. Agree, agree. Tama, yes, yeah, tama, yun, tama yun. Um, uh, trend line, where's the trend? Kung imagine, yung, imaginary lang, sir. Annual versus the quarter. Parang bigla pong bumaba from the annual, mataas ka na po sa annual. Pero 89 out of 4, 449 is hindi po natin makukuha yung 25% quarterly. Pero Correct. annual na yata po yan siguro, no? yung 89 or quarterly po yan. Ito na pong kung 100 to, malinaw po dyan sa sulat niyo na first quarter. So paano niyo po mapuprove na na-increase niyo po nung first quarter? Yung 89 po ba, first quarter or annual na po siya? O itong 449 na yan, yung P3 temporary? Uh, yung observation mo, ma'am, th uh, th again, thank you, ma'am. No? Uh, very acute uh, 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 observation. While it's true, ma'am, no, na hindi natin pwede compare yung quarter to annual, um, be informed, ma'am, that this is the first time, ma'am, na nakuha namin yung data na to. We don't have really a historical data like quarterly. Uh, quarterly ba itong, ano yung mga quarterly na nag-add up towards 89 po dito? So, 
parang ang lumalabas tuloy, yung quarterly, kinumpara mo dun sa yearly na result ng 2020. So, tama yung observation ni ma'am. Unfair. Uh, but in this case, ma'am, for now, uh, ito po yung data na nagather natin. And yes, we will take uh, take note, ma'am, yung comment ninyo. Ay, Ray, pwede pa ba natin i-break down ito into a per quarter? yung data na to. Meron ka bang nakuha ang data? Ito bang data na to? Total lang talaga. Sir, yung sa pag-gather ng information, kasi during pan pandemic, sir, hmm. limit, para yung sa chance mag-AP is nangyari lang yata once yata, sir. Oh, yung this year, as I understand, hindi tayo nag-ape uh, Purin po rin Ma'am Bilya Gracia, no? yung api natin tumigil ng first quarter. So hanggang doon na lang yung data natin. Wala tayong second, third, and fourth. So wala tayong data. But not, not saying na hindi dapat gawin. Dapat gawin. Maka mo lang na karoon tayong COVID. No? But that's not, again, an excuse. What, what, what we are saying is, for now, ma'am, ito na yung data na 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 gather natin. Uh, yes sir. Thank you sir. Uh, I suggest na lang sir na yung scorecard data sir natin ilagay mm -hmm. sir natin sa Excel sir so we can uh, compute Monitor. easily sir yung Correct. ano ma-update sir natin once na-update automatically kung marunong po tayong gumawa ng formula sa Excel makocompute na po yung percentage and we will determine the increase in percentage from that increase in percentage isang click lang yan sa Excel makikita mo na ang trend line and okay. at yung trend line na yun, yun ay kakapipaste natin sa baba ng ating uh, SR template. So makikita po natin na we are improving the performance of our personnel as well as our unit po. Yung, lang, sir. yung yun po yung gamit ng pag-answer sa Excel. Sir. Thank you, sir. So take note, ano, uh, Ray? Yes, sir. I-take consider natin yung magandang comment ng ating uh, representative from R9. So napakaganda ng mga sinabi niya. Uh, we should learn from from these things. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Welcome po. Okay, next. Uh, yung sunod na, ano yung nasa ka tumigil? Okay. Number of personnel, of 50 personnel who have undergone psychological counseling. Okay. Okay, the formula for this is wala. Ray, mukhang hindi mo kinorek yung formula mo ha? kasi di ba sabi ko nga sa inyo baliktad yung numerator mo tsaka denominator mukhang hindi mo chinek yung, yung presentation. Try, try mo mag-calculate ng ganyan. Hindi lalabas yung tamang data. Number of personnel who were indoors for stress management seminar. Over total number of personnel who have undergone stress management seminar. Tama, hindi mo makukuha yung tamang, ano, tamang, tamang result. Yes, sir. Na-interchange mo. Na-interchange mo o hindi mo na-change? Uh, Sir, uh, na doon po sa, no, sa naka-indicate po doon sa OMTI, the formula is from the numerator. And the yes, number. pero this is already your final presentation. So di ba, kinorect na natin yan during tactical review and operations review. So, it seems like hindi mo na po. Yes, uh, Steve. Yes, sir. Saan na mabigyan tayo doon? Okay. Tuloy na lang. Move on. Ito po sir yung ano yung sa sa formula po ay babaguhin na po namin. Sa impact of process shift on objective providing mental health and psychosocial support to, to PNP personnel helps alleviate emotional difficulties at work and life in general. Ray, bakit may blanco, may mga blanco, accomplishment, barriers, asan yung mga yan? Hindi ba ninyo, hindi nyo ba dinoboy check yung presentation ninyo? 
Kasi, Ray, uh, how can you say that this is a key success factor of the gap kung wala ka namang determination of what is the variance? And you can only get the variance if you have your accomplishment versus the target. So, kung ano man yung sinulat mo dito sa key success factor, next step, mali na agad yan kasi hindi natin alam kung ikaw ba ay nag-negative variance o nag-positive variance. Do you get the point? Di ba yun yes. yung pinag- Yes, okay, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Natin before. yes, sir. All of the indoors were being accommodated. Sir. What do you mean? Doon po sa lahat po nang in-indoors po, sir. Na-cater naman po na. Yes, pero your data here is wala, zero. I mean, asan yung accomplishment? Asan yung negative variance or positive variance? Yes. Where 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 are the data? Ito sir na sa ano po? Naka separate sheet sir. Sige nga pakita mo nga. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So nandiyan pala. Eh ba't mo nilagay doon? Ito sir yung ano po. Data sir for the Yes, andiyan yung data pero ano siya? Percentage ba siya? Kasi raw data yan eh. Have it we discussed this before? Uh, having data is one thing pero how do you use that in this the strategy matrix? Yun yung importante kasi you cannot improve anything if puro data lang tayo. Data is the first step. You need to know what is the data. And then the second step is you analyze the data so that you have um, yung, yung information na convert mo siya into something usable. Usable in what? Usable in improving services. Impro yung kung ano man yung gusto natin improve. In this case, uh, sabi niya, di ba, yung, yung strategic objective natin, ensure that the, those who are who have already entered the service are physically and mentally fit. Diba? Yun yung strategic objective natin. Doon dapat naka-anchor yung ating measure. Yes, so, sir, yes. ang sabi, na, sabi mo doon, and what you presented, is the number of people who were indoors, ah, sorry, number of people who have undergone the stress, stress management over the total num uh, the, the number of personnel who were endorsed. So, how do you make sense of the data? If you are, you are going to show us this one, what does that mean? I mean, anong ibig sabihin niya? Sir, for Kasi, for sige, explain, explain mo ngayon yan, yung pinapakita mo sa amin. What sir, does it mean? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, for the first quarter, uh, the, the total uh, personnel were being paid for having the total of 441 sir in the second quarter well sir lahat po itong na endorse na po ito lahat din po for the first quarter ay nakater po for the services yes uh, problema kasi Ray sa measure natin what what is the measure do, do you understand what I'm saying or nakoconfuse ka just to total number of personnel uh, accommodated for the services. Uh. Okay. So, ang tanong ko sa'yo ngayon, no? Di, sige, punta natin yung NP activities mo, stress management, uh, qu quarter number one. First quarter. Okay. Sige. For, sabi mo dito, 441. Ano yung 441? Indoors? O yan yung, yan yung kinater ninyo? Catered, sir, and indoors. How did you know na yan yung indoors? Ano sir yung hyperlink sir yung stress management? Baka sir na may computation doon. Sige nga, pindutin natin. Hindi eh. <laughs> Mukha balik lang din doon sa okay, ating... Sir. Okay, so, sir. Anyway, uh, pag ano sir, just alam naman po ni, ni Sir Henson yung contact number ko. If you want some help, sir, about the Excel, about the formula, about the computation, 
mag ano lang po tayo. Pwede rin naman po tayo mag Zoom, Google Meet, tutorial. Naabot po ako hanggang hating gabi. Ay, hindi ma'am namin. <laughs> hindi ka namin, hindi ka namin ma'am ano, exhaust. Uh, sige ma'am, invite na namin officially. Kung ano lang po sir, yung focal person, yung nag ano bang tawag sa inyo sir, yung nag-encode, yung nag-gago yeah. sir ng data. And then, yun na lang po. Na maturuan ko sila kung paano sir, yung computation for the percentage or increase in percentage. Kasi separate po, mag po ang formula ng pag-compute ng percentage sa increase of percentage. At right. iba rin po yung pagkuha ng variance from the target or from the previous accomplishment if you want to increase the performance. Correct, ma'am. Yes, sir. Iba, sir. Diba, sir? Halbawa, sir. Sa unang variance, kung TO positions ang pag-uusapan, punuan lang yan. So, hmm. kukuha ka ng variance dun sa target mo kasi pupunuan mo yung TO position. Pero pag oh. if you want to increase the percentage of the performance oh, yeah. ng opisina, you get the variance from the previous accomplishment, not from the target. Kasi if you get the variance from the target, dun po tayo nagkakaroon ng performance gap. Nakakagawa tayo ng performance gap unintentionally. Yes. Okay, so yun lang po sir. So magkakaintindihan po kami niyan pag nakikita na, may nakikita na tayong data sir. Kasi hindi natin na, maano yung mga previous, past. Et. Ang ganda naman po sir nung, nung mga data ni sir kasi pinag-aaralan ko na. Kaso kung titignan po natin quarterly, is pagayating pababa pataas po siya. Pero kung titignan po natin siya sa annual, maybe there is a breakthrough result. It means three consecutive years with significant accomplishment. So, alam po natin na yung 2020 is parang kung sa ano, eh, tinamaan po tayo ng pandemic. Pero unti-unti po tayo nakakabawi this year. So, maganda po yan na meron po kayong data quarterly. Pero kung increase in percentage for the first quarter, you should cross-match or uh, I ibabanda po ninyo yung accomplishment ninyo dun sa previous quarter last year. Okay. Para po masabi ninyo na there is an increase. So nakikita po natin is not the data for the accomplishment but the data nung nag-undergo uh, nag, uh, nag ng stress management pero hindi po yan pa po yan yung uh, para dun sa increase in percentage. Correct ma'am. Magagamit Thank din you. po yan sa magagamit din Yes, Thank you yes. po. Ang dami pala. Ang dami rin po pala na ano natin. Ano. So ito yan makakatulong po sa ating mga personal yan talaga sir. Thank, meron din po pala kayong ganyan sir. Thank you po. Thank you din ma'am. Uh, ma'am to our chief, ma'am Arban ma'am. Ma'am, ma uh, may recommendation po yung ating R9 na representative that uh, uh, she is offering herself Uh, mag-conduct ma'am ng uh, parang Excel seminar yeah. uh, in relation ma'am dito sa data gathering natin. Mm -hmm. I think ma'am that this is a good, this is a good opportunity. Uh, may, may we recommend ma'am sa PSMU that all PSMU personnel including ma'am RMDU personnel to attend ma'am this uh, webinar. Webinar lang naman ma'am okay. Jonel no? Sir, pwede naman sa Zoom or Zoom, sa yes, yes. Google Meet. Zoom po kasi pwede nating i-record uh, yes, sa Google Meet naman po kasi. So, ginagawa ko na po yun sa mga stations, sir, with their dashboard, sir. Ayun. So, tama-tama. Idagdag ka namin, ma'am, sa aming learning and growth. <laughs> Oo, oh, kung ano lang, sir, kayo, sir. Kung kailan po kayo available sa maluwag yung schedule po natin. At andyan po yung mga concerned personnel na nag-gather po ng data. Opo. Kasi sila po yung may knowledge sir doon sa data. <laughs> correct, correct. I ayusin ma'am namin yung aming ano, schedule and then ask Yes ma'am. Invite Thank ka ma'am. Ma ma Thank you. Okay. Thank uh, you ma'am. Ray. Uh, ayusin mo yung <laughs> ayusin yung data natin. Yes sir. Pa, inisip ko lang yung ano, yung diwa ni ma'am <laughs> Uh, balik, balikan mo ulit yung ano yung pinresent ko kanina. So more than the data itself, no? Uh, balikan mo yung SR, yung strategy uh, strategy matrix mo. Kasi yun yung yung issue dito, issue strategy matrix. No? It's nice na may data ka, pero in this case wala kasi data zero eh. Tede, yung strategy matrix hindi yan, measure profile yan. Yan. 
balik 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 stop ano nangyari pumunta na doon strategy matrix measure profile yan strategy matrix nung ano nung uh, Yan, yeah, no, pa 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 So ito Ray ha, uh, again, pag wala kang accomplishment, hindi mo makukuha yung variance. Kung hindi mo nakuha yung variance, hindi ka pwedeng mag-entry ng kahit na ano diyan sa mga susunod na columns kasi mayroong yang order of precedence. So you need to first set a target and then yung accomplishment mo, kung ano yung accomplish mo. And then, ano yung variance? And then, tsaka ka lang ngayon maglalagay ng impact to process shift, cross-match to OMTI, key success factor, or identification of gap kung negative siya. And then, yung next step mo, kung ang nakalagay doon, key success factor. Intervention, kung ito ay identification of gaps. Diba yun yung napag-usapan natin several times? Baka nakalimutan mo lang. Okay. Sige. Tuloy, tuloy mo lang. Tuloy mo na, no, Ray. So, so doon sa ano, ha, sa data ninyo, yun yung i-correct natin, ha? Uh, sa tulong ng ating uh, butihing uh, R9 representative. Buti na lang, ma'am, nandiyan ka. Number of PNP personnel who have undergone stress debriefing. Uh, baliktad na naman ha baliktad na naman yung formula mo hindi mo ulit na correct yes sir sir so dun sa so again ano pareho lang nung kanina again wala ka ulit uh, data doon sa ano mo sa accomplishment Sir, yan na po yung laser sa SST briefing. Mm -hmm. Wala ulit ka accomplishment. Nandun sir yung data sa table kanina sir. Uh, okay sir, to give you an update sir, pero siguro hindi na po ito update since nung nasa R1 pa po ako 2018. Uh, yan po yung lumang SR template natin kasi doon po sa bago meron po tayong quarter list diyan po inahati po yung target accomplishment and variance into two uh, rows sa baba po yung quarter list sa taas po yung annual bakit po ganun sir para po halimbawa po nasa baba nasa baba po yung third quarter nasa taas po yung annual running balance po natin. So, makikita po natin na kaya pa po natin makuha yung annual target natin kahit ang dinidiscuss pa lang natin ngayon ay ang third or first, second or third quarter. So, yun na po yung magiging yun na po yung bagong uh, template po ng SR. May quarter po sa baba, nasa taas po yung uh, Parang ano ma, mile marker ang dating. Apo, so, sir. meron kang yung dulo mo And then, meron ka yung quarter. Ako, okay, sir. Okay. Doon, sir, sa the annual, kasama na sa yung first, second quarter. Sa baba, sir, yung third quarter. Then, sir. So, para mag-forecast, ma makikita na po natin kung hindi po natin ma-attain yung target o mm -hmm. hindi, o ma-attain po natin bago po matapos yung taon. Tama. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, okay. ma'am. Again, ang napagandang input, ma'am. Thank you. Oh sir, so sir, so pasensya na po kayo sir kasi kanina ay nagsusulat po ako sa chat box kasi as as the presentation yung slide po kasi medyo kanina mabilis kaya po medyo nagsusulat po ako dun sa chat box kasi po baka po makalimutan ko na yung mga <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nakita ko nga. Eh. Okay. Maganda naman, naman po yung take it into a positive ano naman po yun para po sa ikagaganda po ng ating uh, hindi lang po ng presentation kundi po pag-monitor, pag-manage, at pag-improve ng performance ng medical services. Medical and dental pala po. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Again, thank you, ma'am. 
Sige. Uh, move on tayo, ano, uh, Ray? Sir, last part na po yun, sir. Ah, wala na, tapos na yun? Sir. So, hindi ba na, yung, yung huli niya yung health caravan, di ba? Ano ba yung naging discussion natin regarding health caravan? Ano na, sir? Just to identify kung talaga bang isasama natin yun. Oh, kasi di ba yun yung question nga natin. So, sinagot naman tayo kanina ni, ano, ng health service, PSMU, na dinidetermine pa nila kung ano yung criteria ng health caravan. So, hintayin natin yung advice nila uh, and then from there, we, we take you from them. So, ma'am, uh, to ma'am Arban, ma'am, that is the presentation for the process excellence. Uh, mukhang marami po tayong ipokorek. <laughs> Tapos na yung ano, presentation. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yung sa ano lang, process excellence pa lang ma'am tayo. Wala pa tayo sa learning and growth at saka research ah, management. Ano ba ito? To continue or? Hindi ma'am. Uh, for the process excellence ma'am, any any guidance ma'am doon? Kasi kita mo naman ma'am yung presentation. Ayun oh, nga. I-review na lang natin ulit. Pati yung mga ano nila. Uh, yun nga, sa OMTI. Tapos hmm. next steps. Way, for, uh, way forward. Sige ma'am. And then yung And then yung uh, input ma'am ni Ma'am Bella Gracia. Uh -huh. Oh well thank you. Thank you ma'am. Uh, how about sa PSMU po natin? HS PSMU any insight po na you could share? Uh, yun sir sa scorecard sa MPI trust and measure profile ko. Pa input na lang po yung mga figure per quarter po sir. Yun lang po yung na-observe ko po. Okay, thank you. Same, same din doon sa kanina. Okay, uh, so we now move on, ma'am, to our learning and growth perspective. So dalawa na lang po. Asensya na sa ating lengthy discussion, but uh, I think this is very, very essential. So ma'am, again, going back to my presentation, learning and growth perspective, uh, dito po ang supervisor po natin, si Major, uh, Police Major Cristina Sanidad, and then her assistant, is uh, Police Top Sergeant Santos Pereira. So as shown po, sir, ma'am, is the uh, charter statement. Ma'am, uh, take note po natin. No? Take note po natin. Yung luma, meron po tayong tatlong learning and growth strategic objectives. Doon sa pangalawa, mapapansin ninyo, isa na lang. Sa pinakabagong charter statement, Meron po ulit binalik yung Dynamic Health Service Organization at saka yung upgrade, Upgraded Health Service Management Information System. Pero ma'am, magugulat kayo kasi dito sa measure profile, tira nyo ma'am, observe nyo mo na, uh, or develop a highly competent, motivated, budget-oriented, disciplined health service personnel. Same, same, same. Then wala na. Ibig sabihin ma'am, um, umalabas po na although sa charter statement po natin, may tatlo tayong uh, strategic objectives doon po sa scorecard o sa measure profile pa lang. Sa measure profile po, iisa lang yung strategic objective. Nawala po yung itong dalawang to. So, uh, this time ma'am, um, our presenter uh, will be uh, Major Sanidad and uh, Pe Me Sergeant Pereria who will be discussing uh, yung pong aming recommendation for revision of the learning and growth perspective. But before they do that, uh, just a little bit of comment lang po. Mapapansin po ninyo dito. Um, dito, nakalagay po, medical officer. Di ba po? Doon sa 8A.1. And then sa 8A.2, nurses. And then 8B.1. One, wala na. Wala, nang, wala yung dental, wala yung psychologist, wala yung medical technologist, wala yung other professions. Dalawa lang po, nurse and doctor. Pero mapapansin nyo po, marami po tayong professions dito. So yun, wala po sila. So later, um, Major Sardinad will be presenting to you. Yun po yung naging findings namin during our tactical review and operations review. Another one is competency, competency skill training. So magpapansin niyo ma'am, uh, what what are the competencies skills training versus yung kanina specialty training. 
So, lumalabas mga may specialty training, may competency training. Pero dito ma'am, hindi malinaw. Ano po yung competency training or skills na bibilangin natin? Alin ba dun sa competency skills? So, hindi po malinaw kasi hindi po siya identified. And last but not the least po, yung, yan. So, lumalabas ma'am, out of doon sa, sa, sa objective po ng develop highly competent, motivated, values-oriented, and disciplined health service personnel, lumalabas po dalawang kategory lang siya. Isang specialty at saka isang competency. Wala po yung mandatory. So, mamaya ma'am, may present din po ni Major Sanidad ito. So, without further ado, ma'am, I will now stop sharing and uh, turn it over to Major Sanidad for her presentation. Ah, nandiyan, nandiyan pa ba si Major Sanidad? Ah, ayun dyan pala. <laughs> Sadali, hindi pa yata naka-presentation view. Hindi ka naririnig. Sige, go ahead. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Sorry for the delay. We were uh, ano, setting up. Sir, for the um, learning and growth perspective, Sergeant Ferreira and I will be presenting to you uh, as, as uh, stated at the um, vision of the self-service charter statement, sir. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So now we have this, this scorecard of the, the heart service, but we were, we were we did some revisions but uh, we could present other professions as mentioned by Sir Magilas, so going specialty training, percentage of trainings are in the NCR per personnel and their specialty training. We have the medical officers. Nag away po kami ng laptop, sir. Wait lang po. <laughs> Sige. So... As for medical officers, we have eight medical officers presently assigned here at NCRPO, RMDU. We have two uh, medical officers who have specialization, which are in internal medicine and pediatric. Pedi uh, yung, the other one is uh, pediatric medicine or in pediatrician, sir. Next slide, please. Uh, these, these are in matrix nothing, sir. We have target of 50% annual. Uh, accomplishment lang natin, sir, is quarterly 25%. We have 25% variance. The impact of ship on objective is special the training in HS and updates the competence of HS personnel. Yung objective natin is unmet because we weren't able to send all our doctors or medical officers to undergo training. Our measure is relevant. The target is not achieved and the initiative is not responsive. We have gaps. As I've uh, asked around or interviewed our medical officers, only 10% of the total population are allowed to undergo medical training, uh, specialty training, residency at any, any given time, sir. They cannot all, all together go even though they want to. They have to follow the 10% total population. And sometimes the preferred specializations are not available in the respective regional assignments. Let's say they are really assigned here at NCRPO. Uh, the specialization is not uh, yung, yung the area around it. Hindi nag offer yung special specialization to the training ng hospital. Uh, as mentioned also, uh, everything was halted due to the pandemic. And the, with this, we have the intervention of adding, we should add additional uh, medical officers so that 
pag may nawala, one will cover the, the yung nawala na medical officer to cover up dun sa na deplete naman power. Then, coordination and collaboration with nearby provinces, provincial regional training hospitals para they can go there and have their specialization leaving their regions behind. Next, please. So, this is the measure profile. Uh, to get the objective and the measure, we, uh, we were able to calculate it through the number of RMD UNCR medical officers with specialty training over total number of medical NCRPO medical officer present today multiplied by 100%. So we were able to get uh, in the first quarter, since we only have two out of the 25%, we were able to get 6.25% all throughout because we weren't able to send po other medical officers to undergo training. So next slide, please. Now we go to nurses. Uh, we have, uh, as of this time, we have nine, med nine nurse officer presently assigned here to include our chief RMDU, person of police colonel Arban, Ma'am Michelle Arban, and we have 16 uh, non-commissioned officers. There are 22 board passers, nurse, nurses, and we have two under board uh, nurses. We have 10 nurses who have specialization, and these are the following training that they have. Medical, emergency medical technician, we have five of them. ER or emergency trauma, we have one. We have a toxology nurse, tox, toxicology nurse in the person of uh, Sir Magilas, one. Hospital administration, one. Dialysis nurse, we have one, our chief nurse, uh, police major Jacinto. Uh, Hospital Administration Executive Course 1. I think si Ma'am Arban po yet. Um, uh, who has that? We have Operating Room, room Nurse 1. Also our Chief RMU. Paramedic Nurse Instructor. We have one. Also our Chief RMU, Ma'am Arban. And Tactical Paramedic 1. Si Ma'am Arban din po. We have one po, sir. Next slide, please. So, we have this, the matrix we, uh, the target is annually we have where we wanted to to send 50 percent of our nurses presently assigned here but unfortunately we were only able to send uh 3.1 percent one so we have a 46.9 variance and uh, we have the gap the same with doctors they cannot go all at the same time because obviously manpower will be depleted especially now we the unit needs highly needs their uh, help or their, uh, they are very very valuable as of this time because without them uh, combating the pandemic would be very impossible and also they follow a ladderized training scheme where you have uh, if if my recollection is right and if my understanding is correct you have to have a certain uh, number of years for uh, staying at that, that unit before you can you were you will be able to to be sent to undergo uh, training. Also, the only uh, as, as mentioned by Major Jacinto, we only have the yung mawa natin with UPPJH. Shalang yung uh, training hospitals na training hospital nag 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 uh, nag accept or nag accommodate ng PNP nurses unfortunately since nga the 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 effect of the pandemic every pro all of almost all of the programs were halted to give way doon sa pag uh, pag cater nila ng patients and ang uh, saka since research training center din sila they had, all programs should be uh, na halt para yung resources and manpower nila will be solely dedicated doon sa patient treatment and research against COVID-19. Now, uh, as discussed with Major Magila, sir, um, the plan is to send at least four nurses or one each quarter per year para uh, to somehow ma-fill ma up natin yung, yung specialty training ng nurses and 
also mag ano mag increase yung dami ng specialized nurses natin dito sa RMB and CR personnel. Also, if uh, busy pa ang UPPGH, uh, we're trying to see if we can collaborate with other training hospitals to accommodate our nurses to undergo specialty training, sir. Next slide, please. The same, this is our measure profile, uh, how we came up with we uh, the measure, the calculation natin is in number of nurses presently assigned here at NCRPO with specialty training over the number of total nurses assigned here at uh, NCRPO or MBU multiplied by 100. So we are hoping for a 50% na target by next year. Hopefully, 12.5 of uh, every quarter, meron tayong at least one para sa ganun. Uh, as though slow, we can send them slowly we can we can enrich their knowledge and ma ma ma, ma, ma reach natin yung target eventually next slide please so we also have yung sa dentist we have as of this time we have eight dental officers and three non commissioned officers who are under board and one non uniform personnel who is also a registered dentist uh this is a very, this is the new matrix, sir. Um, this pretty year is not present in the HS scorecard, but just nonetheless, we included this as advised by Major Magilas because uh, it constitutes also yung, dentist also is also a part or it constitutes yung RNB unit natin, ma'am, sir. So we, we are still, uh, we're still on the process of developing this matrix, ma'am, sir. That's why we uh, ang, ang basta ang target lang namin is at least to send 25% ng eight dental officers sa specialty training. Uh, this training is not included in the master training annual program or MTOP. And also kasi uh, dental officers or dentists who will undergo training Extensive, almost the same with doctors. Uh, years din po. Uh, years kasi. It's also a master's, master's of science in dentistry. Specializing in orthodontics, pediatric dentistry, restorative dentistry, and so on and so forth. So we have so multi, ano kami, multifaceted or marami kaming branches ng dentistry na it takes time. Parang din kami bumalik sa undergrad namin if we are to undergo the specialty training ng dentist. So, ang intervention is to, to, to request the training division to include us, to include the dentists the dent in, in their specialty program. And also, uh, for dahil mawawala for a certain period of time is to allow dental officers to undergo specialty training during the entire duration of the training program. Next slide, please. So the same, um, this is how our measure, we were able to come up and calculate the measure. And uh, the total number of dentists has specialty training over number of dentists assigned here at NCRPO multiplied by 100 is the percentage that we're trying to get. By 2022, we are hoping to send at least 25% of uh, our dentist. Ito yung projected, uh, parang if, if it's allowed, the same with nurses, at least one per quarter or four dentists in a year will be sent to undergo specialty trainings. Uh, looking into, consider, considering also in length, we can also be, we, we have naman yung short, uh, period of time not specialty training, although years pa rin. The shortest would be two years and meron pa rin kaming maximum of four years because we also, like surgery, may, ano yan, sir, may residency training din po yan, here or abroad po. Next slide, please. We, we now go to the psycho, we psychologists and psychometricians. As of this moment, we are... Happy to say we have one registered psychologist. Happy, be, I will discuss it later. 
We have five psychometricians who are all officers, and we have one psychology graduate who is a non-commissioned officer. Uh, next slide, please. This is also new. Um, this is what we are trying to present to you. Because um, um, very extensive, um, I have only learned this, very extensive ang training ng psychometricians and psychologists. Kudos to them, mahaba ang training program po nila before they reach yung psycho psychologist. First, pagka-graduate, they have to undergo masteral of two years before silang mag-board exam for psychometrician. So that's why ang target natin is yung transitioning psychometrician to psychologist. After which, pag psychometrician na sila, uh, registered board passer, they have to undergo another training program, masteral ulit, which determines the, the specialization na, let's say, SPED, Special Education or uh, Training Program na mas specialization, or yung industrial, as, as discussed by Lieutenant Cruz. So that's where palang na madidetermine kung saan sila pupuntang specialization after the first board exam and the first masteral. Here comes the second masteral. Then that's the only time na mag, uh, mag, uh, mag-board exam sila to become psychologist. So medyo masalimuot po yung sa kanila sa psychologist, sa psychometrician natin. So uh, in short, we're very happy to have one because she was able to complete all those uh, trainings before niya ma-reach yung final, which is the doctorate, the doctoral or yung PhD niya. But yes, as, but ang, ang target lang natin is to send psychometrician to psychologists. So this is, this is very new as well, sir, ma'am. And this is also not included as a gap sa ma, uh, master training annual program natin Maybe because it's very extensive, it's very time-consuming, and I'm sure expensive din po siya. Uh, and also, um, i-allow din siguro sila later on, the same with dentists, to undergo such training para ma-reach ma nila yung level of psychologist uh, na, na, na label, na, as registered psychologist. Sir, ma'am. Next slide, please. The same, this is our measure profile. We haven't uh, placed or put in, and hindi kami nag input ng target because we have yet to determine kung paano, how to go um, go about this kasi medyo extensive na, medyo peculiar, very peculiar, unique yung kanilang way of uh, acquiring specialization. So, yeah. It needs further studies, sir. Next. So now we have also uh, allied personnel who are also assigned here. Previously, we, we were able, there was an optometrist, there was a techno medical technologist, and also a pharmacist. Fortunately for them, kasi naka-enter sila sa lateral service, Unfortunately for us, we all lost them. But we still have one uh, red tech under the person of uh, uh, PSSG Manurudin, an ally also assigned here sa yung in charge sa x-ray ng patients. And uh, uh, surprisingly, our MDU also has criminologists assigned din po sa atin. You have nine, one of which is Major Salvacion. Uh, presently assigned dito sa RMDU, sa, sa, sa Maine, and the rest are distributed sa districts. So RMDU is very unique because not only doctors and nurses, we also have allied and criminologists presently assigned to help us out uh, in, in, um, in serving our community and our clients. Next slide, please. So now we go to the competency training. We have the HS-related competency training. 
uh, from what I have gathered, ito lang po yung uh, nabanggit sa akin na competency training, health service, uh, basic life support, which 21 of uh, presently assigned po dito, spearheaded by our chief, down to the next, ayan po, we have 21 of them, officers and non-officers, nurses. And uh, we don't, unfortunately, wala po tayong ACLS. And then we have one IV therapy uh, special uh, competent na under the, uh, si Captain Ragasa, licensed 1995. Uh, so these are yung competency training ng mga psychologists, uh, ng psychometricians natin before sila i-dispatch sa region. They have to have this. This is mandatory. Psychological skills enhancement training, PSET, uh, six months. Ito yung ina this is being held by, at PNPGH, conducted by the Department of Psychiatry. Health and Mental Psychosocial Support Seminar Workshop, three days, uh, na, sa National Center for Mental Health. And Psychological First Aid Training, Psychological Association of the Philippines. These three, according to Lieutenant Garcia, uh, uh, Lieutenant Cruz, I'm sorry, mandatory for them to have this yun ya, the prior to dispatch sa region. Kasi uh, they will be handling yung uh, people na ikakounsel nila. So they have to have this first. So very skilled po yung psychometricians natin na assigned sa every region po. Next slide, please. So uh, also, uh, we have yung, yung this competency training. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to send 50 per, uh, we have a negative variance because uh, everybody's health, everybody's hands were so full during the COVID-19 and everybody is being tasked to to do their part para mag-combat mag natin yung pandemic to handle. So, nagkaroon tayo ng manpower shortage due to influx of COVID-19 patients. So, uh, inuna muna natin yung patients bago ta uh, before nag-send tayo ng personnel to undergo competency trainings. And then, uh, as suggested, uh, pwede naman siguro nowadays yung alternative learning platforms so as not to deplete manpower, we have naman daw uh, ngayon yung virtual or blended para lang tuloy-tuloy yung pag-send ng personnel to undergo these competencies kasi very needed siya, especially now that we're going through this very unique situation. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, um, I, sa, yes, sir. Question lang, ano, question lang. Yung napag-usapan natin before, uh, meron na ba tayong parang criteria natin kung ilan yung, ilan yung mga competency skills na kailangan natin? Yung parang bang checklist siya? May nagawa ba kayong ganun? Or so far yun lang yung, yung nakuha natin? Yun lang natin. sir, we were trying to get the list from health service but unfortunately sir, we weren't able to obtain any. Uh, as all is as of kahit po last week, I was trying to get hold of yung kahit sa nurses lang po sana, sir. Uh, unfortunately po, wala, sir. Eh. Kaya okay. yan lang po yung na, nakuha namin na Sige competency lang. training as, as discussed by our chief nurse, sir. Sige. Uh, anyway, nandito na may representative natin sa um, health service HSU. Ma'am, uh, to our HS. HSPSMU po, ma'am. Ang tanong lang po namin, ma'am, meron po ba tayong listahan po ng mga competency training na pwede po namin gawing checklist para yun po yung pagbatayan natin kung makakuha po yung tao natin. Sir, I will coordinate na lang po sa training section po natin ngayon sa Sir. Kay Sir Pagaduan po. Regarding po doon, sir. Oh, thank you. Um, para lang malaman natin, kasi kung let's say competency training, para kanino? Ano ba to Parang katulad ng specialty training, iba po, sa, iba po yung listahan ng nurse, iba po yung listahan para doon sa psychiatrist, iba po ba yung listahan para sa dentist? 
parang para lang or baka ang sinasabi natin dito for all all HS personnel ito talaga yung yung basic natin parang katulad sa SAF sa SAF meron silang parang specific skills eh, na kailangan marunong ka mag marunong ka sa CQB yeah. marunong ka sa mga specific siya sa PSPG naman doon kailangan marunong ka mag-drive so ang assumption dapat as part of your competency marunong ka mag-drive so dito sa atin ano yun is it first aid So, ibig sabihin ba ng first aid? Dapat lahat ng personnel natin may first aid siya. And ano pa doon? Kung doon, ano pa? Kung sinasabi natin, kasama dito yung IV therapy, eh hindi naman pwede mag-IV therapy ang psychiatrist. Ay, sorry, ang psychologist. Ang dentist, I don't know. Mer sa dentist ba, meron ba tayong ano, IV therapy? Nag Nagkakandak ba kayo? Nagsiswero kayo? Sir, under extreme conditions, we were taught pag emergen dental emergencies hmm. na pahapyawan namin, sir. But uh, I myself, hindi ako confident. So, it, it wasn't really that ano, uh, specified. But uh, we were taught to, kasi to, uh, in, in, in advent of dental emergencies that would need yung IV na, na gamot, sir. Right. Uh, okay. We were also ano, asked to. Uh, yun yung ano, no? we need to establish that kasi baka mamaya ang, ang criteria natin ano ba hinahanap natin dito? Anong klaseng competency ba? Health related uh, competency ba yung hinahanap natin? So dapat yun muna para kung ma-establish natin kung, kung let's say for example na identify tatlo tatlong klaseng competency skills number one siguro biosafety, biosecurity Then number two is your first aid, first aid, de ba? Number three, I don't know kung anong other medical related, aka waste management skills. So if these are things that meron tayo, at this mababangga natin ngayon sa lahat ng tao ng RMDU, ilan yun, de ba? Ah, yun lang naman po, ma'am, yung I think we need to clarify. Uh, may tanong dito po, ay, actually tanong ba to o suggestion? Ma'am Ma Bilya Gracia, uh, ano po yung sinasabi ninyong list of training sa HSAOPBE? Uh, sir, uh, kasi po dito po sa amin sa, sa headquarters, meron pong separate na list din po dun sa R8 po natin sa mga training po re related po sa sa operations, sa administrative, sa PCR. So, meron po silang list of trainings doon. So, kung meron po kayong copy ng AOPB pro, ng HS na health service, doon po ninyo makikita din sa baba yung sa human resource management, yung mga list po ng training. So, pag, paano po natin masasabi na, ang, na ito yung competency training para sa nurses, sa dentists, and other field po ng medicine. So, Pwede, masasabi po ba natin na ito na po ba yung uh, competency training para sa kanila? Let's say po sa PSMU, ang PSMU po ba natin ang medical po natin, meron na rin po ba kayong competency training? Kasi iba po yung competency training sa refresher. So parang ganun din po, makikita po natin din po yung sa list naman po dun sa under po ng, ng CPSMA, yung budget po nila. So, makakakuha po tayo ng list of trainings kung wala po tayo diyan sa available po diyan sa sa medical service po natin doon sa counterpart po natin sa taas meron din po or sa pwede rin po tayong magtanong din po sa HRDD po natin sa sa NHQ. So, yes, kami po yung bali po yung R8 po, sila po nagde-determine kung ano po yung mga list of training. Let's say po sa PCR, ano po yung PCAD course? Uh, uh, community. So, yung ating po bang PCR po sa medical, meron na rin po ba silang PCAD o P PCAD uh, course. And uh, yun naman po ating mga logistics, yung supply po ba natin dyan, meron pa po ba silang basic logistics course. So, pwede rin na po natin na masasabi na competent na din po ating yung mga personnel po natin. Para, para hindi lang po yung mga medical uh, ano po, kasi siyempre yung iba po natin mga PNCO, uh, may iba't iba po silang designation, sir. 
So, pwede po tayong makakuha doon ng mga list of trainings. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, again, ma'am, no? thank you sa input. Um, I think ipipresent pa at uh, medyo sanidad yung, ano, no? yung non-health non related competencies. Tama ba? Meron ka pa na? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, we sir. have, sir. Uh, yun lang po, ma'am. Uh, yun lang siguro, ma'am, yung, yung, ano, yung itanong natin. No? Nasa MTAP ba natin yung yung ano yung mga medically related courses. Ah, sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, training. Uh, yun yung suggestion ni Ma'am Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so, yun. Uh, so, thank you, Ma'am, uh, for that input. Sige, tuloy tayo. Next uh, Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma'am. Thank you for that, Ma'am. Next slide, please. So, we now go to uh, non-HS related competency training. Ito yung tinatanong ni Ma'am. Uh, these are the lists. We have Human Resource Management Officers course. We have two officers who, have, who has this. We have Human Resource Management Staff course, two, office, two uh, personnel. Controllership Officers course, we have two personnel. We have Finance Officers course. We have Logistics Management course. We have Criminal Investigation course. And also we have Tactical Casualty Care course. Oh, Five of our personnel has this. Uh, siguro correct lang natin. No? Yung tak -tak tactical casualty course, I think yes, sir. this belongs dun sa kabila, yung sa HS related. Yes, sir. Na, 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 <laughs> na ano siya, HS related, sir. Yes, yes. Na, okay. ano, sir, nag, nagsariling command to, sir. <laughs> sige, sige. Next slide, please. So, um, the same. Uh, we weren't able to send all, or we, we weren't able to send a uh, uh, few. We only have 8.2%. So 91.8% ang variance natin, sir, sana na magsisend. Because a uh, limited number of personnel accommodated due to new guidelines set in the conduct of training, sir. So hindi lahat magsisend out. Ng, hindi lahat nang gusto, pwedeng kunin. Uh, limited number lang din po. Next slide, please. Baka natanggal sa isa. Next slide, please. Thank you. Asa mo? Ito yung measure niya, sir. Um, Teka lang, mabili. I I think similar lang din ng isa eh. non yes, non sir, health same. service related lang. Yes, sir, yes. Sir. And also we have the next Uh meron may, may comment pala no si Ma'am Bilya Garcia. Uh 41% hindi 91%. Yes, sorry, sorry Ma'am. Mali po yung nagtype. Mali po yung nagtype. Sorry Ma'am. Thank you so much Ma'am. Sino kaya yung nagtype? <laughs> yung dentista sir. Na sa mat. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Noted na po. So we have also yung the following, yung mandatory trainings. All are expected to, uh, lahat naman po tayo are expected na sa rank na dinadala natin. Uh, yung, uh, yung, yung, these are the lists. So corresponding sa rank yung training na na-under nila. Slide, please. And uh, since we are all, we have criminologists, which is very unique sa uh, unit natin, we also have police-related trainings. Uh, one is yung BISOC or yung Basic Internal Security Operations course. And we have yung Special Counterinsurgency Operations Unit Training Scout. We have seven. What's this? na naka-assign sa atin na very peculiar but we, we we have personnel who has this dito sa RMB so very nice po uh, next po ito na po yun dun sa dynamic health service organization development ang measure natin is number of job description over number of personnel or position ang strategic initiative natin is yung uh, administrative manual 
This is very new also. Excited yung kasama ko po. Uh, strategic Initiatives is an Administrative and Operational Manual of R&D and CR. Next slide, please. This is also very new. This is not included in the uh, HS scorecard. And we're still developing this book. So the impact of shift on objective is one, one way through which the health service RMD and CRPO can become a more dynamic organization would be to provide job description for every role within the structure. Each role's expected output or function and scope of responsibility should be summarized in a short descriptive description to provide an overview of what we are expected to do as mandated by our tasks. So this is very new po. Uh, it's still in the process of developing po. So this is how it's going to be po. It, it, uh, we will still work on it po ma'am. Para... Yes ma'am? Yes ma'am. Ma'am, Bilya Gracia po. Ba? Ako po ba? Ah ma'am, thank you po. Yes uh, I think that is a 100% already ma'am. Yung job description because uh, katulad po namin sa NUP, when we sign our plantilla position, we already sign our PDF and that is the position yes, description ma form. Ganun din po sa ang pagkakaalam ko po at as I observe ang nag-apply din po sa promotion ay nag-fill up din po ng DBM form. So, nandun po nakalagay yes, na yung job description po natin lahat. Yes, uh, pati po uniform very... and, and uniform. So, already 100% na po tayo dyan. Yes, uh, hindi ko lang po alam kung yung sa ano ba, newly appointed uh, patrolman or yung mga temporary kung meron na po silang DBM form. Yes, ma'am. Thank okay. you po, ma'am. I'll take uh, note of that. Pag-comment lang, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, for info, ma'am, yung in relation ma'am dito sa uh, job description, ma'am. Ang, mm -hmm. ang isa sa mga problem po natin kasi ma'am dito are the records. Uh, for now, ma'am, yung based on records available po sa amin, we don't have uh, concrete, ma'am, na job description ng bawat tao nang dito. Not to mention, wala kaming administrative manual. So, people come, come and go, pero yung job description, ma'am, wala. So, minsan, yun nga yung issue, ma'am. We should be able to come up with that. Um, it's just surprising, ma'am. Di ba may individual scorecard? Supposed to be tayo. So, paano tayo magkakaroon ng individual scorecard if yung job description, ma'am, natin, individually, wala. And I'm talking about positional. Yes. Uh, not, as, not as a rank. Dito kasi ma'am, unique eh. Unique ta ang, ang R&D. Mm -hmm. Our positions ma'am dito is unlike edi, uh, any other unit um, within NCRPO. So, yun nga, ano ba job description natin dito? So, yun yung ano, yun, that's, what, that's what we are trying to develop. And the measure ma'am, pag mapansin niyo. Number of personnel with job description over total number of personnel and position. So yun. So hopefully uh, this measure will be able to be matrack natin mam yung yung progress from no description or walang manual towards something na one hundred percent. And that's what we are trying to aim at this coming year. Uh, sir, uh, way back I. My 2013 2014, uh, I passed to I submitted to DPL around more than 240 positions of uh NUP, sir. So, nakalagay din po dun yung job descriptions. Let's say training facilitator, psychologist, mga additional. Meron, meron din po kami pinapaw sa mga technical. Kasi yun nga po ang kailangan natin, mga nurses. So, ang isa pong pinagbasehan ko para gawan ko po yung job description, yung mga pinopropose natin na item, mga NUP rin po yun. Kung hindi ma-fill up ng non-uniform, eh, uniform personnel po ang mag-fill mag up. Uh, ang isa po sa pinagkunan ko ng position na uh, job description is the civil service qualification standard. 
yung green book po yun, hanggang sa general, meron din po dong job description. Uh, meron pong copy nun ang NUPAS natin kung naitatabi ko. Pwede, pwede ba mamang kami makahiram nun? As a benchmark po namin. So, pwede rin sir, kasi meron din po kami, iba, iba din po yung PDF form na pinipilapan po namin. Separate, iba po yung sa form na pinipilapan ng uniform personnel. So, meron, nakalagay po dun sa likod nun, it, kung mag-a-apply, let's say, mag-a-apply po ako ng dentist sa inyo, nakalagay po dun sa likod nun yung position description form, ay, yung position description ng dentist, ng position na a-applyan ko. Na okay. dapat, kaya ko, uh, may background ako, mayroon akong experience dun sa mga job description na nandun sa likod set. So, Sige. yun sir po yung isang hindi natin pag, uh, pagbasehan, mag-start po tayo para meron na, lahat po natin makuha po yung uh, 100% po na target ng ating training. So, Sige ma'am, thank, thank you. Thank you ma'am. Ma'am, pagka ma'am ano, may, may makausap ka ma'am na regarding doon sa green book, baka ma'am pwede ka maghiram. Baro muna, baro. <laughs> kay ma'am, ano po, kay ma'am Elda. And yes, sa amin yes. pong NUP supervisors. Sige, sige. Thank sige. you, mama. Thank you. Uh, sige, tuloy tayo. Uh, yes, sir. Uh-huh. Now, for yung the last vision po, yung upgraded information management system. Yung measure... Bago yan. Eh. Percentage bago. of R&D and CRP who submitted their 2015. NP? Ah, talaga? Government property ba yan? Ha? So, uh, this, ano na po ito, na nasimulan na po ni Major Magila sa PRMS. Ang target po natin is 100%. Although this is very new, it has been, uh, ano na po, uh, in, the work, in the process na po siya na ginagawa na po, uh, na simulan na rin po. The accomplishment natin is 97.2%. We have uh, variance ng 2.8%. So, in fact, of shift objective, an upgraded information management system will, will be created to ensure that important files will be available for viewing and use through an online portal. Files will be scanned, validated, uploaded, and sent through the PNP email system or through files records system whenever bona fide PNP personnel put any request for a document. This would ensure that files will be available to whenever and wherever PNP personnel may, may need them in the dispensation, dispensation of their duties. Uh, the gap, the only gap we had was yung reassignment of personnel so um, hindi may, may, there will be new as newly assigned uh, we have yet to get their 201 file that's why we have so, soft reminder lang po to send also their 201 file para makumpleto lahat ng RNDU personnel na magkaroon itong file 201 file system para ma-upgrade ma-encode ma na siya so next, it's the same. It, it, this is how the measure profile would be. Yung who submitted personnel, sub, personnel who submitted their 201 file over the total number of NCRPO personnel. Next. This is yung percentage of 201 file validated. So the same po. Uh, the same with the, the one who yung personnel na nag-submit din po. Slide, please. This, uh, so, ito po. Measure profile lang. Almost the same lang po. May sequence lang po siya. First is yung validated, uh, submitted. Next would be validated. Next. Next is yung uh, percentage of 201 file validated and scanned. So, the same din po. Uh, kasi iisa lang din naman po yung data. Next would be. The same din po. Lastly, percentage of 201 file scanned and sent to PNP email system. So, so far, nagawa naman na po. 
we ito na lang po yung 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 variance this ito lang maliit na to sir negative 2.8 next slide please next slide please next so that's it sir for learning and growth thank you uh, wow. <laughs> okay, thank you sir just for just for Parang may hinahanap ako, sir. <laughs> Mama, may hinahanap ako. Go ahead, go ahead. Please. Kasi dito, sir, sa amin, uh, napansin ko, sir, oh, ano, parang yung 201 file namin dito, sir, is not updated. So, pwede rin po sa inyo, mas konti yata, mas maganda, sir, na meron po kayong updated na 201 file. Just in case, sir, na Katulad nung katatapos ng promotion and then next, baka po next month or next in few months, lalabas na naman yung sa promotion. So dapat sir, meron din po tayong updated to a one file. Correct. Ma'am, para po kahit si sir, anytime o oh, yung mga magpo-full pledge o oh, mag-lieutenant colonel, open, oh, yung ano po ba yun, open, ng, open yung promotion nila anytime pag may ano, Yes. Pabakante, may variance na lalabas. Salang na agad. O print ka agad po ng 201 updated file. Kasi dito po sa ano sa amin, sa district, sa PAIS, or sa, sa R1 po, yung pong ang mga kasama ko, eh, sasabihin po nila, yung picture po nila nung bagong PO1 pa rin sila po ang lumalabas dun sa, para ba yun? Yung PAIS po nila. Kung PAIS, saan mag, yes. print sila ng PNP ano ba yon PNP <laughs> PNP profile form PPF para po attach dun sa kanilang mga promotion. So pwede po natin bang idagdag yun kung updated or wala po ba sa inyo na pa is trained personnel na authorized mag-update ng ng pa is ba tawag po pa is po. Oh, um thank you for that no. Sa health service lang kasi yung ano authorized talaga. Uh, unlike sa NCRPO, ang NCRPO, hanggang district at or station, pwedeng mag-update kasi authorized personal yung mga nasa baba. Pero dito sa health service, kahit yung mga nasa RMDU, ibang RMDU ng ARM, gano, ang updating pa rin talaga centralized. Tinanong ko rin yan sa PAIS ng health service. Yun talaga yung sagot nila uh, so far. Centralized yung PAIS namin. Hindi kami authorized dito sa region to conduct our own PAIS updating. So, tama kayo ma'am. No? Maybe maybe that is our way forward. I-request natin or explore yung idea na i-decentralize na yung PAIS system para authorize po yung mga regional offices uh, to update our information. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Sige. Meron pa ano? Um, Yan na yun, di ba? Last na. So, ang kulang na lang natin dito is yung project pack sheet para dun sa 201 file. Ano? Yan, ako, actually, ako yung may utang sa'yo dyan. <laughs> Hindi ko pa nabigay sa'yo. Okay, so that ends po yung ating magandang discussion regarding learning and growth. I think ito yung pinakamahabang presentation uh, out, out of dun sa lahat ng perspectives and we would like to thank uh, Major Sanidad and uh, Sergeant Ferreria for exhaustively uh, presented yung ating uh, learning and growth perspective. So again, we would like to commend them to be able uh, who, who really went the extra mile na nagtatanong talaga sila na tinitignan nila sa health service. Okay, so um, before we move on sa resource management May we ask lang po guidance from our chief, Ma'am Arban, Ma'am? Learning and growth and perspective lang po. Okay na, Ace, Nan. Okay, thank you, Ma'am. Uh, any insight po sa ating uh, health service PSMU regarding learning and growth po na pinasen? Wala naman po, sir. Malinaw naman, ano? Malinaw tayo dun sa learning and growth. Opo, sir. So, okay. So, I think uh, malinaw naman pala. 
Next po, ma'am, sir, uh, again, we now go to the last. Uh, you cannot start screen share. Uh, Di-disable yung <laughs> screen sharing. Uh, kung sino man po yung may control ng screen sharing, uh, please pakialaw lang po. Meron pa po akong huling mga presentation. Ayaw yata. So, on, uh, Eric, Eric, makisuyo yung ano natin. Ayaw yata nung aking IT. Kanina, pwede naman ako mag-share. Ngayon, hindi na pwede. Uh, Pastop na lang po sa ano, yung presentation ng ano. Um, Ayaw nga. <laughs> hindi pa pala nakastop yung presentation. Per Sergeant Pereria, pastop yung presentation nyo. Kaya hindi ako maka-share. Maka, ano maka thank you. Ayun. Okay, sige. Thank you. So, sir, ma'am, uh, we are now down to our last re uh, management perspective. At ito po ang resource management perspective uh, headed by Police Major Mark Anthony Padua, uh, assisted by Police St Staff Sergeant Audrey Vidanes. So, so, ito po yung scorecard, uh, yung charter statement po natin. No? Mapapansin nyo po doon sa pinakabagod charter statement, may dalawa po silang... Resource Management Strategic Objective. So yung optima, op, optimize or optimum. Actually, ang lagay na dito, optimum. Optimum uh, utilization of financial and logistical resources and acquisition of modern facilities and equipment. However, just like lang po dun sa learning and growth, re, yung resource management din po, sir, ma'am, ay isa lang po yung kanilang strategic objective. Mapansin niyo optimize utilization of financial and logistical resources. Yung measure po of file 10, ganun din, optimize utilization of financial resources. And then, wala na. So, ibig sabihin, ma'am, sir, yung pong pangalawa dito, although nasa charter statement siya, wala naman siya sa measures. Wala siyang measure po of file. So, as uh, shown po, uh, which will be discussed uh, by Major Padua, Ito po yung ating uh, measure profile. Uh, meron po tayong number of activities funded uh, over doon po sa total number of activities based on EOTB. Then the next one is ito pong total amount of mandatory TR shared received uh, over total number of program expenditures. So with that, I will now turn over to Major Padua for the presentation of the last perspective, which is resource management. Mark? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, po. Sir, uh, to our uh, Chief RMDU, uh, Police Colonel Michelle uh, Arban, ma'am, uh, to all senior uh, officers, my fellow officers, KNCOs, uh, guests and observers, a pleasant day po sa ating lahat. For the resource management, Sir, sound check. Okay, go ahead. Hi, okay. So for the resource man management, uh, our objective is uh, optimize utilization of financial uh, resources. Our measure is uh, percentage of program activities based on AOPD. Our target is 100%. And our initiative is activity-based budgeting. So... Uh, with uh, our 100% uh, target is accomplished, our impact on strategic ship, financial and logistical resources are used optimally, cross match with the uh, OMPI, objective is met, measure is satisfied, our target is achieved, initiative very responsive. Key success factors, strict implementation of budget based on AOPB, and uh, seek constant uh, approval of chip RMDU prior to the disbursement and utilization of financial resources. For our next step, uh, monitor emergence of issues and concern uh, affecting current financial scheme and uh, conceptualize uh, initiative commensurate to the needed adjustment if ever possible.
our measure profile for resource management perspective, uh, as I've uh, mentioned earlier, uh, optimized utilization of financial resources. So uh, we base our uh, utilization of uh, our resources based on the program activities uh, listed in the AOPD, which serve as our uh, one of our quality management or quality uh, management tool. How is the measure calculated? Total number of program activities over total number of activities implemented. Sir? Uh, may, Go comment. Ahead, may comment si Ma'am Bilya. Ma'am, may comment po kayo? Sorry, sir. Sir, dun, di ka agad napindot yung unmute po. Sorry po. Sir, dun sa ano po, sa formula sir natin, na inverse po siya, uh, nasa taas po palagi yung accomplishment, nasa baba po yung target. So, yung program activities po nasa baba, sa taas po, kung ilan po yung na-implement po natin. Pero actually, siguro na po, the same din po siya, pero sa formula, yun po. Dapat po siya nasa taas yung accomplishment. Nasa baba po yung target. Not in terms. Yes. Uh, ah. Happy po. We will correct that, ma'am. Thank you po. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, are there any other comments, sir, ma'am? Okay, so uh, I think yun na lang po yung ating uh, uh, presentation for the resource management unless meron ka pang ibang additional, ma Mark. Sir, so far, uh, wala na po. May nag-submit na ba sa'yo regarding dun sa mga strategic initiative ng mga ibang perspective? Uh, may nag-consult na po kung paano yung paggawa ng mga costing, pero wala pa po yung final output, sir. So, waiting lang po kami, sir, para po may present namin kay Chief R&D. Sige, ulitin na lang natin yung ating call for submission sa so other perspective owners. To the learning and growth, process excellence, at saka community perspective. Yung mga initiative, strategic initiatives ninyo, as per instruction ni Chief RMDU, is to submit po yung project fact sheet. And do, nandun naman sa project fact sheet yung costing. So, i-reiterate ko lang po ulit. No? Ang instruction is to submit the project fact sheet para bigyan na lang natin ng kopya yung ating resource management. Okay, thank you, Mark. Uh, Ma'am, uh, Ma'am Ma Ma Arban, Ma'am, any guidance for the resource management? Yeah, okay naman ang ano yung presentation. Thank you, Ma'am. How about po sa health service po? Okay naman po, sir. Okay, thank you. Ayan, si Ma'am si Ma Bilya Garcia, meron siyang comment. Ma'am, go ahead. Sir, para po sa lahat ng nag-present or sa focal person po pala po, uh, ang wala po sa, dun sa SR template po natin is the color coding po. Lalagyan po natin ng tulay yung target. Green, if we hit, meet, or overshoot the target. Orange, kung uh, we fell short, but Uh, makukuha natin bago matapos yung taon. Red, kung hindi na natin kayang habulin yung target kahit pa matapos yung taon. So, meron po yung nakalagay na memorandum na may color coding para po sa makita na po agad natin sa SR template kung maganda po yung performance ng unit natin or yung measure po natin kung na-attain po natin. Meron po yung memo ng Uh, SR yung sa color coding po natin. Pwede ko <laughs> kanino ko po kaya isesend yung mga references or we have to discuss
Dito na lang. na lang, sir. Or TW meeting with focal persons. <laughs> I suggest, ma'am, doon na lang po sa ano natin. Kay Eric, yung aking uh, uh, action PNCO pagdating po doon sa PSMU. Um, I think magkapareho naman po. Meron po kayong contact sa kanya. Kay Sergeant Henson po. Wala si ma'am. Ma'am? Nandiyan ka pa ma'am? No, wala si ma'am. Wala ka mute. Yes ma'am. Ay sir, uh, sa Viber po, uh, uh, meron po kami ano ni sir. So pwede ko pong isend sa kanya yung mga memo from higher headquarters for your references po. Sige po ma'am. Okay. Thank you ma'am. Maraming salamat. SOR, Strategy and Operations. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. So, um, to our participants, it has been a very long day, and uh, we now come to the final, uh, final uh, discussion. And I think guidance na lang po coming from, uh, from our different, different uh, invitees. No? Um, nandito rin po yung ating mga technical working group. So, ma'am, Arban, ma'am, para po dun sa mga and statement po. Umpisan po natin sa ating TL, which are part po ng ating technical working group. And then we'll ask after them, we'll ask the the special guest po from NCRPO and Health Service. And then kayo po yung last or closing okay. closing remarks. Ma. Three minutes each. One minute. Oh, sige ma'am. Thank you ma'am. Okay, uh, let's start with the team leaders. Uh, can we start with the northern Northern, kung nandyan po yung taga Northern. Any comments, insights uh, that you could uh, share with us? Uh, good afternoon, ma'am, sir. Hello. Yes, ah. ma'am. Okay. Oo. Oh, oh. As... Si Solomon si Doc so kasi I, I think siya yung umaapen talaga dito um bali lahat din naman ng ginagawa namin is pin forward namin sa main so uh i i take note ko na lang po sa kanya ko ano man yun na pag-discuss dito po sa ano sa meeting Okay, but any any ano, any insight, any comment do sa mga narinig po ninyong mga naging presentation po regarding our scorecard as the part of the technical working group and of course uh, as part uh, of our MDU. Oo, oh, oh, mamaya lang kasi kausap ko. Ah, uh, sir, regarding lang doon po sa ano, yung yung sa mga training sana kung po pwede pati yung katulad sa amin na nasa dental service uh, magkaroon din ng training kasi like yung sa mga doctors uh, marami rin kasi kami uh, gusto sana na makapag training uh, based dun sa aming profession kaya lang hindi kasi kami nabibigyan ng pagkakataon so yun lang sana kung maari mag matuloy sana mapasama din po No, oh, uh, thank you for that comment kasi kaya, kaya nga pag napansin mo doon sa health service natin, dalawa lang yung merong specialty training, doctors and nurses. Wala po yung dentist, wala rin po doon sa scorecard natin na nakalagay po doon yung psychologist and other profession, only the doctors and nurses. So that's why ma'am doon sa presentation po natin kanina, we have already included the dentists. Ay, yes po, maraming salamat po. Thank you din, ma'am. Any other comments pa, ma'am, other than the training? Uh, wala na po. Okay thank po. You. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Now thank we move you. on to the Quezon City Police District. Lan, ito na yung correction, Lan. Lan, ay, asa na yun? Ma'am, sa, sa Quezon Police District po, ma'am, uh, sir, Any Ito na yung correction. Ito na yung correction. Ma'am, yung sa conference. Ma'am, pa-mute. Pa Thank Ay, you. So, sorry, sorry. It's okay, ma'am. No problem. Quezon City, Police District.
Nag out yata. Uh, na nag out po yata sir. Na nag out. Uh, po. May okay, may we call on uh, EPD po uh, team leader uh, Police Major Nando ma'am. Uh, ma'am, good afternoon po. Uh, classmate, good afternoon. And to the yes. other officers and PNCOs and NUPs present po. Um, sa akin lang, mate, uh, actually I would like to commend you dun sa ginawa nyo dito sa regarding po dito sa um, uh, sa ating scorecard. Kasi yun nga, ang laki ng um, parang changes doon sa dati. And alam ko tinutukan mo yan talaga kasi kilala nga kita with regards to sa trabaho. And anyway, um, <clears throat> yun nga, na-mention naman lahat at kung ano yung mga naging kulang nga kasi yun nga, yung sa mga trainings na hindi, hindi nga nabigyan ng chance yung ibang professions. And siguro ang suggestion ko lang, mate, um, tingnan nyo rin yung mga activities namin sa district na kung pwedeng i-include nyo rin yung mga activities kasi baka hindi nyo lang nakikita na maraming activities dito sa district na um, hindi na isasama na makakatulong pala dyan sa atin. Parang ganon. And um, yun, yung sa mga equipments din na kung pwede uh, alam nyo naman sa district na Marami kaming kulang pa. Parang ganon na kung pwedeng matulungan kami na mapaganda din namin yung equipments namin para mapaganda din namin yung serbisyo namin na binibigay sa districts. Yun lang po. And thank you very much po. Thank you, mate. Uh, for info yung pagdating doon sa ano, sa mga gamit. Pag mapansin mo, di ba yung isa sa process excellence na present kanina ni Lieutenant Melia. Um, in-include na natin yung listahan ng ano, parang checklist na siya ng ano ba yung kailangan ninyo sa dental saka sa dispensary ninyo. And then from there, makikita na ninyo that you are now going to check if how many percent po yung na-complete natin doon. So, uh, yun nga, para ma-monitor na, ng, ni, ni Chief R&D kung ano yung progress ninyo dyan, kailangan nakikita niya sa, sa, ano natin, sa scorecard. Which is in this case, we have now proposed a revision of our our measures in terms of process excellence. One of the measures would be to track the the progress. Uh, kung kung nakakompleto ba yung ating mga gamit yung sa district, including po kayo doon. Thank you po. Thank you, ma'am. Next po, uh, Eric. Siyono sa nito. From uh, Manila. Uh, Police Lieutenant Colonel uh, Alan Michael Santos, uh, represented by Police Lieutenant Colonel Ilarde, ma'am. Hello, go. good afternoon to everybody. Thank you, um, mga classmate ko na nandi dito. Um, actually, ngayon lang ako nag-attend ng ganito, ma-attend ko sa si Team Leader Alan Santos. Pero dahil nag-attend ako, nakita ko kung paano yung sa mga scorecards, sa mga trainings. No? So, the same concern with Major Nando and Major Cruz. Yung sa training lang ba ng dentist? Kasi more on medical and nurses lang yung nabibigyan ng, ano, ng pansin. Pagdating sa dental, parang hindi napagutuunan. Eh. So, yun lang naman, mate. Yung sa dapat, meron din para sa dentist. Thank you very much, mate. Ako kung tutusin na ikaw na ang nag-confirm sa aking anecdotal data before. Tama nga talaga, the appreciation of PNP Patrol Plan 2030 has not been cascaded towards all personnel ng RMDU. Sayang. Sayang yung skills, sayang yung opportunity that Um, using equality management system as BPNP Patrol Plan 2030 based on a balance scorecard. Sayang siya. So, thankfully, uh, lahat tayo mar maging marunong din uh, someday, somehow. And yes, uh, through, by using BPNP Patrol Plan 2030 to improve our services, hopefully, 
magawa ng ma-address natin hindi lang yung pang nurses lang o pang doktor but rather for everyone else basta as long as you are RMDU dapat kasama ka doon so thank you thank you Next, uh, Eric. May, sino sa... may, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Nate, to add pala, nakalimutan ko. Diba merong ano, information, uh, data information system? Ah, oh, yes. Na, oh. Oo, yeah. na dati na natin napag-usapan yan, yung records management natin. Correct. Na every time na lang, parang meron yan na parang computation, kung magiging magkano, ganun-ganun. Na ilang years ko na yan naririnig na hindi naman napupush through. Sana sa NCRPO, Uh, maging ano natin yan parang best practice pa na mangyari na kung magkatotoo yan na yung medical records, dental records natin, psychological, parang ganun. Kasi naumpisahan na yan sa recruitment dati na hmm. <clears throat> nag-start tayo sa recruitment na naging computerized na siya, di ba? Pero yes. hindi ko rin alam ko anong nangyari. Na yun nga, di ba? Parang next step sana natin yon na maayos natin yung records natin ng mga... Ah. So, mate, are you saying na bukod doon sa 201 file, 201 file system natin na uh, under ng uh, medical record, ano, information system natin sa under ng learning group, idadagdag natin ito. Tama ba yes. yung interpretation? Yes. Oo, yung kung pwedeng makomputerize na natin yung mga medical records ng, ng lahat ng police, ng 23,000 na NCRPO personnel. Opo, kasi katulad niyan, uh, yung COVID ano natin yung covid data nandiyan na kung pwedeng ma-incorporate lahat siya na makuha natin yung sa NCRPO ba na maging yung data talaga yung may medical pag nabuksan mo meron na siyang nandoon yung medical records niya parang kasi nandiyan na lahat eh kung may magkakasakit katulad nito kung may symptoms tayo sa covid di ba mag-aano lang ng data doon yung tao kung magkakasakit man siya Pwede rin siyang mag-ano doon na para centralized nga, parang ganun. Ah, uh, try para yung para yung PNP code natin ng dating. Oo, kasi nandiyan naman si classmate natin sa ITMS diyan sa NCR. Try mo lang kasi dati, uh, may na forward na ako sa kanya na mga parang data no na sabi ko nga nung nasa QCPD na sabi ko try nga natin gawan parang ganun. Tapos yun, may mga binigay na ako sa kanya. Hindi ko lang alam kung naumpisahan niya yon nagawa pa niya. Malay mo lang, di ba? Uh, ipasok natin dun sa ano natin. Yun sure. lang, mate. Thank you. Thank you din. Thank you. Uh, again, ano? Uh, thank you for the inputs. Uh, that's why the strategy review is created uh, to, to elicit yung mga information na ganito. Okay, next, uh, Eric. Sino sunod natin? Uh, from uh, SPD. Uh, team leader of SPD, Police Lieutenant Colonel Asaret, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon po. <clears throat> Ang comment ko lang po is um, uh, we'll just wait for the fact sheet po na, na mapadala sa amin or yung i-revise nyo po, then we'll comment on it po kung, kung ano po yung um, pwede po namin ma-share dun sa mga data. And then ang um, isa pa po is um, alam, um, tawag nito? Uh, yun nga po, we'll go into it and provide a format so that the district uh, will follow yung kung ano mang format po yung ibibigay niyo po sa amin. Then may isa rin po akong uh, com uh, comment din po uh, or additional or dun sa mga um, regarding sa mga parameters. So, um, we're only ano po kasi eh, nag, uh, nag, um, parang nag uh, ano po tayo more on dun sa vaccination tsaka dun sa unvaccinated. Yung po yung parang um, Uh, meron po tayong uh, parang data however paano po pala yung ano um paano po pala yung mga nabakunahan ng first dose uh, na hindi po po nag uh, papa second dose however overdue na po sila so ano po ba yung po pwede nating um, gawin po sa mga yun kasi overdue na po yung mga yun eh so almost ilang buwan na hindi pa sila nagpapavaccine so ano po ang po pwede nating maging uh, measure regarding them So, yun lang po yung ano, comment ko po. Thank you. Um, to your first question, uh, again, na-address naman natin yun kanina. Pero to the quest, second question, I think this will be a separate issue regarding vaccination talaga specifically. 
Pero uh, sik na na tayo na ng guidance kay Ma'am Ma Marban since nandito naman siya. Ma'am, yung question po, although hindi siya kasama sa strategy review natin, uh, oh. any guidance, Ma'am, regarding that one? Question na. Ang sabi kasi, Ma'am, ni, ano, ni uh, Dr. Aseret, meron daw mga tao na nabaksin ng first dose pero um, hindi pa nasa baksinan ng second dose. So, Tama ba, Dok? Uh, yun yung question mo kung anong magiging guidance regarding that one? Opo. Kasi nirace ko na rin po kasi yan sa district namin. Um, however, humingi din po siya ng guidance din sa atin. So, yun po yung parang um, na, na ano ko lang po. Saan yung ano na, Dok? First vaccine? Ma'am, ano po? Yan nga po, Ma'am, yung problem eh. Yung mga nabaksinan, Ma'am, sa mga region. Tapos sa transfer ma'am sa atin, tapos iba ma'am, nabaksin na ma'am sa atin, LGU, however, uh, nag-overdue po sila. Dok, yung si LGU, kinokontak yan ng LGU prior sa day of vaccination, just like my daughter. Then, yung sa ano naman, yung mga nandito sa atin, pwede natin bigyan sa ng vaccine, yung mga na-reassign second dose, allowed yun. Uh, ayun ma'am, yun lang po yung parang ano po namin, kasi nga po ma'am yung mga iba ma'am. Kaya ma'am sa'yo ma'am para ang dayo ma'am namin ano eh parang first dose lang. Oo. Sa Inovac din kayo? Um, Iba-iba ma'am eh. Iba-iba po yung mga... Tapos pwede mo silang papuntayin din sa krami kung ano yung ano available. Ma-accommodate naman sila. Opo. Kaso yun nga ma'am yung ov sobrang overdue na ma'am. Parang tapos yung iba ma'am talaga nagkaroon reaction. Kaya po hindi na po oh. sila mag sa second dose. Yun po yung parang nagiging problem po namin. So, we will seek guidance from the OH. Pero si Ma'am Kaso, Ma'am Kaso, Ma'am, yung sa si LGU, Ma'am, ayaw na din Ma'am nilang bakunahan. Kasi nga, sobrang overdue na rin po. Yun po yung nagiging, humingi Ma'am ako ng guidance sa um, sa health service kaso hindi rin po nila ako masagot. So, oh, okay. ayun po. May ATF kasi tayo. Sige na, tanongin ko si ano, Dr. Balboa. Yes, ma'am. Overdue. Bakit naman na overdue, no? Hindi, ano, ano ma ma'am? Ma'am, hindi ma'am eh. Pag may nagka-reaction na ma'am sila, parang ayaw na po nila. Parang ganun po yung mga nangyari. Kaya nga pinapaano ko nga po, mag magsasign ba sila ng waiver? or kung ano po yung maganda ma'am gawin sa mga kasi po hindi po, hindi po talaga tayo maging 100% kung may mga uh, hindi na po talaga magpapabaksin So mga ilan yun doc? Ilang percent? Yung 20 may... Parang yung first dose ma'am namin parang nasa 27 Nadadagdagan kasi ma'am sila pag nare-reassign sa amin uh, from, the re from other ano po First dose uh, yun Yes ma'am, may 27 po kaming ano. Dati nga po 23 tapos nagdagdagan yung mga nalilipat po dito. Wala Action sila mga ma second dose. May reaction. Opo, may mga ano po kasi ma'am, nagreact sila sa first dose. Itong 27. Ay, ay hindi ma'am. Yung iba ma'am, uh, may mga ay uh, po, na, uh, ano mga oper operation. May rami naman sila mga no, ano. Na nagawa niyo yan ng memo para may ano tayo. Yes ma'am, nagawa naman ako ng memo. Um, however, dito ma'am lang sa district. Hindi ko okay, po... ano dito daw? Forward? Ah, yes ma'am. Sige po. Thank ma you ma'am. Ma'am, idikit ko lang sa strategy sa strategy mo natin sa PGS ma'am. Ma'am? Ano Ace? Uh, idikit ko lang ma'am doon sa ating ano, sa, sa ating PGS ma'am yan. Oh, Since okay. meron naman... Uh, since ma'am meron na tayong bagong measure uh, doon sa ating community perspective, siguro ma'am ipalawakin pa natin yung data ma'am natin doon kasi nang nakalagay lang doon ma'am, vaccinated. Pero wala doon ma'am. Tama din si Dr. Aseret eh. Oo, bakunado ka nga. Pero anong status ng bakuna mo? Yung bakuna mo ba first dose lang? O nakasecond dose ka? O meron kang booster? Yeah, at so, saka yung vaccine. Correct ma'am. Correct. So siguro ma'am... Uh, Uh, take note na lang, uh, Captain Lariosa, no? uh, yung ating vaccination measure. Baka pwede natin 
i-improve ba yung ating vaccination measure? Um, yes po, sir. Regarding that, sir, meron po tayong listahan ng fully vaccinated, sir. Booster. And then, yung nakareceive lang ng first dose, sir, based on the PNP code, sir. Yes. Yung may ano din, reaction. May ano tayo data. Reactions, ma'am. Uh, I will check, try to check it, ma'am. Oo, para ma-present natin. Anong, yes, po, ma'am. Ano, remedy. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Magandang input yun. Ano? So, ma-improve pa natin further yung ating community perspective. Uh, Son, sino na lang yung wala? Tapos na ba lahat? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, si, ano na po? Si... QCPD. Yung QCPD, meron ba? Uh, ano po eh, nag-log out po. Uh, hindi na po na. <laughs> <laughs> hindi na bumalik. Sige, uh, so for that matter, ma'am, uh, doon na po tayo sa ating mga special guest. Unahin po natin taga NCRPO, ma'am Bilya Garcia. Ma'am, any comments uh, overall? Uh, hello, sir, ma'am. Good afternoon once again. Uh, bali po, uh, comment ko lang po, sir, kanya. Uh, siguro next time po, unahin po natin yung presentation from the bottom, which is the resource management, what we have. Uh, include din po natin yung donations. Uh, kasi po, may dalawa po yung paggagamitan ng donations natin. Proof po na Wi-Fi. Nawala, ma'am. Nawala ka, ma'am. <laughs> Nawala yan. Kasi pina-exclude yan noon. Yun sa chat. Nagtanong ako sa chat box na kung sino po yung in-charge o nagmo-monitor sa donations. Ah, yes. Okay. Magagamit po natin yan sa PGS, sa patrol plan, and then sa ISO. That is a proof that uh, the customers are satisfied with our services and in return, nag-donate po sila. Kasi nakikita po nila ano yung wala sa atin, ano yung kailangan ng mga kapulisan. Hindi lang po ito dito sa RHQ. Ang alam ko po, mas maraming po nagdodonate sa, sa district or even stations. Kahit po simpleng alcohol, uh, yung face mask o face shield, uh, may mga nagdodonate din po nun na parang kakaiba po, parang personalized po yung face shield sa mga personnel. So, Proof po yun. Kung, i, i, kung i, account po natin yun, ano? kasi ito po nagawa ko na. Na-present ko na po ito sa auditor ng ISA, which is the Institute for Solidarity in Asia. Na-present ko na din po yung uh, percentage increase of support from stakeholders. And uh, with the auditors po ng ISO. So maganda po kung mamumon. Idagdag po natin measure yung percentage increase of state. Hello, hello ma'am. Excuse ma'am. No, wala na din siya. Kasi during the proficiency, pinadelete yan, ma'am. Eh. Ano lang, kasi ano tayo, optimization of resources. Pwede siguro yun sa, ano, initiative is, sa ano, initiative, oh, ano, ilagay. Sige, ma'am. Uh, I, I think, ma'am, kasama rin po. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Sinasubmit mo namin kasi meron po kaming Excel matrix. Uh, meron po financial support. Meron di, may, may, may matrix ma'am siya. May Excel po siya. Sinasubmit po namin sa higher head for mam yan sa CPSN at meron din yung moral and welfare let's say po si father nag nagmisa sa loob ng station so ano po yung inyong oras na dinibote niya dun sa services ko ni father and parang honoraria of per day so kinoconvert po natin yun. yung uh, yung stakeholders sa transformation ng PNP. Kita ko po laking istasyon din po ako, laking kampo din po ako. Talaga nakita ko po yung pagbabago. Kasi PCINP po ang parents ko. Retired mayor, retired fire inspector. So nakita ko po yung pagbabago. Yung mga support po, kung bibilangin po natin yan, hindi naman po sa 
uh, wala pong personal na intention po ano pero kung yung PNP support to local stakeholder support medyo nakakaangat po ang stakeholder support so doon po natin makikita na effective po natin sa mga nasalanta sa mga deployment ng kapulisan andiyan lang ang ambulansya meron na merong staff kompleto na staff hindi yung ambulansya lang na walang staff driver lang. So, nandun po yung nakikita natin na ito yung PNP service. Kaya nga po tinatanong ko din po yun eh. Kasi maganda po ang impact nun sa auditor. Kung nakikita nila na mayroong donation or support from stakeholders. Kasi po nakikita nila na mas effective. Resulta po yun ng ating ginagawa. Kahit po nag-presence lang ng isang polis. Sasabihin po ng negosyante, ah, wala nang nagnanakaw at walang nang-hold up sa mga kliyente ko kaya mabenta yung tindahan ko kasi nandiyan si Sargento. Pabalik-balik si Sargento. So, sila po, in return, magdo-donate sila ng ganun. Kunwari, ah, alcohol. Para si Sargento, laging mag-spray ng alcohol. Laging may face pa. So, nagdo-donate po sila. Kahit po basahan, nilalagay po namin, kunekenta po yan. Bibigyan ko po kayo ng matrix ng ganon. And low pinapresent ko na po yan sa PowerPoint pag mag may i-audit po ang NCRTO. So, maganda rin po yan na idagdag po natin sa measure. So, sa presentation po natin next time, sana po, kaya po may arrow siya pataas. From the resource management, followed by the learning and growth. Nag-issue tayo ng mga equipment kagamitan. Meron bang training sila? Kaya po, learning and growth. Followed by the process excellence, na-deploy natin yung tao natin dun sa tama nilang... Uh, after training, putting the right person on the right job. So, process excellence. Para po, step by step na makikita natin kasi nakikita yan po tayo nakikinahanapan ng butas eh, sa process excellence eh. kasi hindi po natin nakakaskid sa kanila yung concept of execution concept hindi ko rin po kasi alam yung masyadong ano sa medical services ko ano pero dun po tayo sa process excellence na bubutasan so para po maiwasan yung mga ganon yung kung ano po yung policy na meron tayo in plan o plan uh, yung medical uh, services po natin cascade po natin yung hanggang sa baba para nakikita din po ng ating mga uh, personnel at ng stakeholders na kanilang pinagsaservisyo lahat and last po yung community so ano po ba ang services na binibigay natin sa community natin external and internal stakeholders po natin. Pag sinabi pong customers, merong primary, may secondary. Okay? So, meron din pong internal and external within our area and outside our organization. So, in return, ano po yung binabalik natin uh, na buy-in, a proof of buy-in of our services. So, pwede din po natin ipasok doon yung donations. Pero ang alam ko po nun, ang nag-a-account po nun ay supply or logistics. Kasi meron po yung deed of donation na pinipirin. So yung pong ating pong uh, stakeholder support, uh, marami po siyang paggagamitan. So meron po tayong matrix. Hindi lang po financial support, uh, equipment o material support. Meron din po yung mga sa moral or advocacy. So, let's say, nagbigay po ng services sa inyo ang isang isang lawyer, legal advice po services. Kasi nag, at kailangan natin umatend ng hearing. Tapos hindi po siya nagpabayad. Kasi kunwari, pao po siya o ano, hindi po siya nagpabayad. So, legal service po yun. Nalagay uh, po natin kung ilang oras po. Parang monetization per hour, magkano po ba ang honorary o per day ng isang lawyer. So, But is po part ng support. So nakikita po natin, we, mula po ng 2014 to 2018, hindi pa po ito yung updated kasi wala pang nasubmit that time ang Manila. Uh, almost 600 million na po ang support ng stakeholders sa NCRTO. 
magmula po ng 2014 hanggang 2018. Kung isasama po natin 2018 hanggang sa ngayong taon, siguro po mas malaki o nadoble na po yun. Mas, mas maganda po yung magiging impact noon kasi breakthrough result po natin yun. Makikita po natin yung breakthrough result ng ating ginagawa. Kasi on the last stage po, which is the institution, institutionalization, ang mangyayari po ay performance audit, third party audit, and impact validation audit po ang mangyayari. Yung pong ating community ang isa serving. So, ito din po yung sinasabi ko, Sir Ma'am, na next time ang mangyayari pong presentation, resource management pang last po yung sa community. Kasi kung ano po yung, let's, let's say, ano po ba yung meron tayong customer service satisfaction na tayo lang po, medical services. Iba po po yung NAPOLCOM survey. So nakita ko po sa inyo sa triage, meron po kayo yung ini-scan, tapos mag-scan mag, uh, mag po siya, tapos mag-fill up, then sasubmit. So maganda pong practice yun. Dapat po yung customer service satisfaction survey niyo is pag-aari po ninyo, hindi pag-aari ng kandak ng survey ng Napolcom or ng SWS. So, kasi po, yung mga questions po doon, uh, dapat alam din po natin kung ano yung mga questions na nakalagay doon. I-re-review po natin yan. So, katulad din po ng sinabi ko, nirecommend ko po sa R5, kasi yung Napolcom survey, hindi po pag-aari ng NCRPO. Pag-aari po yung Napolcom. So, dinagdag po nila sa measure nila yung Customer Service Satisfaction Survey. And, Ni-recommend ko din po nung nakaraan lang itong buwan lang po ng December sa TWG. Kasi meron na po tayong customer service. That is external. What about the internal satisfaction survey? So, sinadjust ko din po sa R1 yung personal satisfaction survey for the internal customers. Okay, sir. Yun yung po yung ano ko, uh, survey po at saka po, sir, yung, yung sa donation, sir. Makakatulong po yun sa inyo, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am. Salam, maraming salamat, ma'am, sa iyong mga insights and comments. We highly appreciate po yung mga yan. And we'll take note po uh, yung mga naging addition po ninyo na comments. So, ma'am, thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, Bilya Garcia. We now move on to the health service po, PSMU. Any comments, insights, guidance for us? Hello po, good afternoon sir, ma'am. Uh, recommendations lang po dun sa mga figures, sir, dapat indicated po sa scorecard, sa may measure profile, tsaka sa OMPI po. Then, paayos na lang, sir, para mas maging ano po, malinaw yung mga data po ninyo, sir. And then, dun po sa ano, sir, may question po si Ma'am Sanchano regarding dun sa DOH license, sir. Kung ano po ba yung yes. tinutukoy niyo po dun sa licensing po ninyo. Kasi dito sa health service, sir, nagta-target po kami ng one RMB use per year for their licensing po. So, ano po yung tinutukoy niyo daw po dun sa DOH licensing? Oo, no, kasi uh, ano yun eh. Kasi same po yung... Yung... Yung sinasabi niyo kasi dyan sa level ninyo is the lag measure. So, ibig sabihin nun, ending na, result na siya. So, yung sa amin dito, ang ginagamit, ang, ang concept namin sana is leading measures. So, the difference between that is kami, we are going just to target na makomplete lang muna namin yung mga requirements in order for us to contribute dyan sa inyong uh, lagging measure na nandyan na yung RMDU is already uh, DOH license. Diba? Parang yun yung marriage nung dalawa. Kami dito sa baba, we are going to do a lagging measure uh, per, per item kung paano namin mabubuo na 100% nung requirements na nire-required ng DOH. Sa inyo naman dyan, ang bilang naman ninyo is lagging measure. Meaning, tapos na ba? Lisensyado na ba kami o hindi? Kasi as far as you're concerned, hindi nyo naman concerned kung ano yung mga requirements ng DOH. Kami yung mag, magsasubmit na. Niyo. So yun yung I think um, it's a clear indication that your measure is different from our measure mainly because as far as you're concerned, outcome yung hinahanap nyo. Kami naman more on ano yung mga steps na kailangan namin gawin para marating namin yung outcome. 
Yun lang, sir. Thank you po. Oh, thank you then. Thank you very much for uh, having uh, chinagamo kami. <laughs> so, thank you. So, well, without further ado, uh, let's now hear the guidance and closing remarks of our Chief RMDU Police Colonel Michelle Arban. Ma'am? Okay, thank you so much. Good afternoon po sa ating lahat. Uh, una sa yung sa training, sa with regards sa koan, sa dental officers, meron tayong TNAs, di ba? Training needs analysis. Um, for now, ma'am, hindi tayo nakapag-conduct niyan. Pero alam tayo niyan. Sige po. And that would be our basis no, to recommend yung mga comments nila regarding sa training, yun mo. Mag ano tayo ng TNA. Then, yung meron naman sa organization, yung dental association, they can also course through doon sa organization nila. Di ba meron kayong PDA? PNP? Uh, to our dentist? Yes, ma'am. Meron po kami, ma'am. Oo. Uh, uh, we also have the PNP no? dental chapter, ma'am. Oo. Kasi ang DD, di ba ang president is the DD, si Dr. Si Sir Solero. Yes, ma'am. Oo, pwede nyo rin ikuan. Kasi yung uh, training natin, before the year ends, siguro mga uh, last quarter, yan yung time na nagsasubmit tayo ng program for MTAP para maano siya mapunduhan. Tsaka ma-accommodate yung ano nyo, training. So, mag-coordinate na lang din siguro sa training section ng ano HS Sige ma'am we'll we'll uh -oh. we'll do that ma'am Then regard with regard sa equipment di ba meron tayong program planning yearly POPB ma'am Oo uh -oh. so in i-include din yung mga program na equipment I-prioritize na natin gawa tayo ng inventory anong priority natin for that certain period of time or year na short term and long term. Pwede pa kasubmit sa ano natin. Dito sa, meron tayong logistic dito sa RMDU. Then, forward natin sa HS. Then, any other concerns? Lana? Ang wala na ma'am, mukhang <laughs> napagod yata sila sa apat na oras. Na. Oh ma'am, uh, pasensya na ma'am kung humaba ma'am tayo ng ganito. Uh, it's just that maybe because because this is the first ma'am, no? I mean uh, for a quite some time. Sige yes. lang. Yes ma'am. So ma'am, uh, I think kung wala na po tayong mga comments and recommendation, I think uh, we have a lot of uh, things that have been discussed. Um, again, ma'am, we do apologize to all. Uh, umabot na po tayong BN 5 o'clock. Sana nga po, less than 5 o'clock. Um, but then, then again, it just goes to show how important strategy is and how important PNP patrol plan for RMDU. So we would like to thank everyone po, um, especially po ang aming CEO, uh, si uh, Ma'am Arban, ma'am, uh, for having with us. Um, tagal tagal <laughs> pero ma'am promise ko po ma'am sa inyo the next time around we will be shorter at uh, puro figures na lang po yung ating ipepresent uh, for improvement is before sila magpresent they need to provide their data and analysis para ma-check natin para okay. less na lang ang ano correction during presentation correct ma'am correct di bali ma'am uh, we have three months to prepare for the next one Uh, bubugbugin ko ma'am sila sa level ng tactical review at operations. Uh -uh. <laughs> so, ayun, Thank you so much, especially to our guests from uh, PRO, si ma'am NUP. Anong first name yung ma'am? NUP Junel. Ah, Junel. Junel. Sa, ano, Advisory Council Jun Summit. <laughs> The first summit was in ano, uh, Clark. Janel. <laughs> oh, si Janel. The women summit. Then okay. total participants. Closing na ba, Ace? Closing yes, ma'am. Closing na po, ma'am. Closing na. Okay. So good afternoon once again. The PNP Patrol Plan 2030 has remarkably brought light to our organization. 
our unit especially the RMD and CRPO and sought to reignite interest and brought fresh inspiration to many of our colleagues. No, tayo yun. As the new chief RMDU and CRPO, I vowed to continue to strengthen the RMDU and CRPO's contribution to the betterment of the PNP Health Service and PNP as a whole. We will walk on an extra mile to realize the reform worthy of the trust of the PNP personnel and community. I am inspired by the dedication of all of, all of you, especially yung ating RAG PPD. Maramis lang contribution, Ace, no? Opo, ma'am. Ma ma uh -uh. They must be given an award. Na-award na ba sila? Um, this year, ma'am, na nabigyan sila ng, ng award, pero ma'am, uh, specific yun, ma'am. Pero yung sa overall, ma'am, wala pa. Oo. Sana ma'am ma-recognize ng mm -hmm. health service. And HRP ma'am, na-recognize niya. Oo, oh, di ba? Kakaiba ba, di ba? And to the TWG, PSME members, and of course, to our TPD led by Ma'am Gail. Best practice din yung coffee Mondays ba yan? Coffee Mondays? Opo, Ma'am. Opo, so, Ma'am. It must be Ganda. also a shared, no? To many... Dapat maraming ano to, likes. Tama, ma'am. Oo. In closing, I just want to share this quote to all of you from John Rockefeller. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. That, thank you very much and be safe, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Maraming maraming salamat thank po. You, thank you, Ace. Thank you, ma'am. Ma Thank, Thank, you, you. Thank, you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Okay na po. Pwede na po tayo mag-leave sa ating Zoom. Thank you. Bye, mate. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you mate. Thank you. Yes. Next time ulit. Next time. Uh-oh. God bless. Yep, yep. Okay.